Hi. Yeah, we can, we can watch the <laughs> other side. Come here. <laughs> Come. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> hey, girl. Here, you want to say hi to the people real quick? No one's here? Oh, there's. Say hi, Chloe. Say I'm not joining us today, but just saying hey. We're a few minutes early. Hey, Gracie. Harlow, say hey, Gracie. We're getting started shortly. Okay, we got two minutes and we'll add in Barra. Oh, it's a look. I have to come for you guys because the first day I was like with it and then life be life and so I was not myself. So I'm giving it to y'all today. <laughs> and Harlow says, hey, Harlow's ready to sip and live with us. So we'll be adding in Barra in just a second. So I hope you guys have your drinks. All oh, thanks, Gracie. I hope you have your glass and your bottle, okay? We're adding Barry in shortly. Um, this thing always does something extra. Yeah. Oh, good job. <laughs> come on. Mm. Which way you go? Come on. Let's see this thing. Harlow, you're so popular, Harlow. Everyone's like, hi, Harlow. Because they know you. you you're our honorary third host of Sippin' Live. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to put on. Barry, did you get in there? Let's see. <laughs> okay, Bear should be joining in any second, guys. I hope you have your glasses. I hope you have your drinks. I know that's mommy's. Okay, let's see. Hey, Josiah. Hi. I did. J. Lou, I did. <laughs> It's like it's something different every time you get on Instagram. They keep changing everything every time we get on here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'll have to check out the Marilyn Monroe movie as well, Gracie. What's, um, what app is it on? Okay, here, Harlow. Go over there. Hmm. Hold on, guys. Excuse me, go sit over there, please. Go sit over there, please. Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay. Vera, I see you. Are we in here, Vera? It's like, it's something new with Instagram every week. They don't want us to live. They don't want well, us to time, live. They don't want us to be time. great. 
Well, this time what I did was um, I, w I came to your page and I kept going, just trying to go in live with you that way, just going in with everybody else. Yeah. And it was like, okay, I'm going to go in with everybody else and then you'll just send me a request. But it kept saying live is ended. Which is crazy because I logged in like two minutes before and as soon as they hit like seven, I was already trying to request you. And then at one point it was like, um, your page couldn't join, but I sent you two messages saying request to jo join. But you know, this it's been something different with Instagram, like from the the um, questions bar being disabled on my page, being able to add people in, like Instagram's with the shit. But that's okay. That's okay, Instagram. We gonna be else. We gonna be on TikTok doing our lives. So I'm gonna say what. Why do you get on? You get on Instagram and you threaten them. That is hilarious to me. You be like, I don't care, cause I don't care. <laughs> you be like, we gonna go to, we going to Instagram. Go to we going to TikTok. Okay. This you is know? so interesting. I've got all these. See, mine doesn't show up like yours. That's so interesting. It's like it's these little things at the top. I got like a camera at the top. Oh, see, a microphone is all at the bottom part. Huh. It wasn't there last week. Hey, Milan. Yeah, I, that's interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, we can get ourselves ready to, to go. Um. Hello, guys, and welcome to our, what's this, our fifth edition of the Sip and Lie? It is. Last week was four. I thought it was three, but this is the fifth one. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing, we've been on a roll these past, this past month and some change. Yeah, five. Hi, I'm everybody. Set up, just FYI, because I moved my normal desk into my room, and I turned the area I'm usually at um, into Harlow's little play area where you've seen her thing on the wall that you got her. Uh -huh. So I just put my, you know, my little velvet chair right here in the corner. So I so can see a small circumference like table. But you know, okay. we gotta make it what it do. I still got the drink. I still got the bowl. Oh, I yeah. got the ring light on and we here. Hey, hey man. Hey guys. Stay stay twenty one. <laughs> we can go on. We can start we can start getting oh. getting started. What is everybody drinking? I'll say hi to Harlow real quick because you know you hi, gotta say hi. hi. She's already sipping out her cup. Oh. Cheers. Okay, now you gotta go to your sister. Come on, go on to your sister. Her sister's here watching her. <laughs> nice. So yeah, I okay. love it. Your face is giving you over there looking pretty. I see the olive green popping. Okay. So I I was saying earlier, like on the first sip and live, I was giving red lips. I was glowing, and then life <laughs> was just lifing, and I was coming with the hats. I was coming on strong for my topic. And I was like, you know what? I have to give it to the girls today. <laughs> so literally at 6.30, I hopped in the shower, threw this face on, honey, got my own little shea butter uh, bronzer on. You know, I just gave the girls a look, got some jewels. You, you know, I just have to give the girls you a look. Giving, giving. You know, I like it, it's giving. Little cuts out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Look, You're sorry. it's only for a couple hours. You know what I'm saying? But you I come with the sauce. You come in with the wait. And why did Arkansas Barbie say giving giving clavicle? Giving yes. clavicle, okay? Oh my god, I it love it. You know, it ain't showing as much as it should be, but it's there. <laughs> it's there, honey. Okay, so I just have to come a little correct today because I know I've been slacking a little on on the previous okay. weeks. So, honey. I'm always here, baby. You look I'm good. Here. Even when you, you look don't good. Sit, I'm here. Just know. It's giving. It's giving. Give. I'm loving it. I like the, the, the cheek, the highlight on the cheeks, too. <laughs> That's that um, Blooming Coal Shea Butter Bronzer, baby. Okay. Early access like at www.bloomingcoalshop.com. I love it. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Best. What is, what is everybody? What are you guys sipping on? Let's see what, what everybody's sipping on. It's in the live right now. 
What y'all sipping on? I know y'all. Shameless <laughs> plug. Yes. Yes, a shameless plug. And the cheeks, too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my still like the power still power. Right Okay. <laughs> oh. I know you empty, but so is my wallet. No. <laughs> Did you minutes. did you have some sips before the live? I did, but then I took a nap. Mm, but I, I don't even it. think it was a sips. I think it was the spaghetti I ate. <laughs> okay, well, I was on the espresso martini, and I saw you Arkansas Barbie the shade. She came with it, like <laughs> you know, J Lou the Cardinal is my favorite. Who's drinking that? American Cardinal by San Antonio who's, who's, Winery. That's yeah, who's drinking it? Favorite. We've been sipping on that for quite a long time. Oh, I, but who is KK drinking that? J Lou, but KK got it. Okay, okay, okay. And the espresso cool. martini. I'm here for it because you guys know I love me some coffee. I'm all about a good cortado, um, a real Italian macchiato, not that Starby stuff, but I do love Starbies. She said sip the green stuff. And when you went into the coffee, you lost me at coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I'm so lost on everything you just said. I'm, I have yeah. an espresso machine, an espresso machine with the frother. Uh, I have a French press. I have a, um, sheesh, I can't even think of the name with it. It's the pour, the Chemex, you know? So I be, I be on that coffee. And I be trying to do latte art. But now I found out they have latte art stencils. So now I'm going to really be doing latte art. Mm -mm. And side mm -mm. note, at work, we started a coffee club called the Bougie Barista Coffee Club. Because my supervisor, one of my coworkers said, you're bougie. You're a bougie barista. So I was like, oh, bougie barista coffee club, $10 a month. So we got about five or six people in our coffee club. <laughs> Just Arkansas. coffee love, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Arkansas Barbie said plain old ice water. You you um are due soon. How much how 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 much longer before you actually are are ready to go in there and give birth? Josiah said latte. Josiah said latte our game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Arkansas. So, so L, what are you sipping on today? We can go ahead and get our. I changed it up today because hmm? y'all know I'm bitter bitch club all the way. But today I'm doing a passion fruit margarita wine cocktail ready to drink. So he was telling me about this in Target today. And he was like, people were getting lit on the gram and stuff. So I'm like, well, let me see. This is 15% alcohol. Did you buy that to get thing, lit? This fifteen you, cent alcohol. Did you buy that to get lit, or did you buy it to like put us up on some new game? Both, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, because I was kind of curious. <laughs> I like these ready to drink. Um, these ready to drink bottles. Like to me, I feel like they're always full of sugar. So in my mind, I was going to have to get some alcohol to put in it. But out here. We're regulated by the ABC store, Alcohol Beverage Commission. So you can't even like <clears throat> get no alcohol on the Sunday. But it said 15% alcohol. So I was like, well, let me try it because if it didn't, if it didn't taste right earlier, I was going to go to the co-op and get my good wine. But I opened it and it actually was like hidden in a real way. So not only you guys see, you, you guys see how she dropped drop and dime that she starts before the sipping live. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm sorry. It's very intentional, Bear. Like on some real. It's never, be before the live. <laughs> it's never intentional, guys. I want to try that. Was... 15 percent mirror. Yes, look at this girl. They got it at Target and they got it at Publix. Cause I have to have Q go get me another bottle. Um, before he came to make the spaghetti. Cause I was like, just grab the. But he drank the rest of this bottle. But guys. Fly bird. This is the passion fruit 
earlier I have to pick prickly pear actually so I don't even know how this one tastes but let me tell you this is good you can taste some alcohol in here I'm not doing wine tonight but I just have to put y'all on this because this right here it's right it's already happening don't look so and disappointed yes. at me and <laughs> yes <laughs> and yes Arkansas Barbie, she is breaking the rules. I don't even. I know, but I. Just... She's a rebel. She's a rebel with a cause. She's a rebel with a cause. I don't. don't Y'all see how I am week to week. What do you expect? Oh, she see. Look at Milan said I tried the lime flavor of this and it was pretty good. Okay. Cheers. In the words of Harlow, cheers. You just need you some limes and a salt rim on your glass, and it's like. Yeah, I should have huh? because I have some um peach. Himalayan salt. Mm. Oh, my. So what you sipping on, beer? <laughs> I have a uh, Madalena from Paso Robles. It's a Muscat Canelli. And this is a semi-sweet. Um, it's got notes of honeysuckle and orange peel. And it's really good paired with like an Asian cuisine, fresh fruit tarts and lemon bars. Mm. And I'm going to have this with some cut up cucumbers and tahini because I'm feeling kind of spicy. I love <laughs> well, so I'm going to have a little piece of chocolate chip cookie that you made. Oh, okay. That's so we can sit on my desk for two hours. We're going to get ready to pour up, you guys. Pull it up, pull it up. Watch it. Yes, lemon bars are good, especially if they're made right. With some I can't cream. make them, but I like lemon cake. Let us see that cup here. What's up? Yours is about 15%. I'm sorry. I didn't tell the percentage of this. I believe this is 12.5%. Oh, so you, you come above the 5%, huh? I never was at 5%. I don't know why you say that. You're a 5%er, Mary. But you be drinking that whole bottle. But you be drinking that whole bottle. Cheers. <laughs> so let's raise our glasses, you guys. Oh, before we do, are there any birthdays in the live today? If so, you know, I will gladly do my shot of Perrier. Woo. I got a shot of margarita. Okay, you guys ready? Let's raise our glasses. We can jump into this great conversation. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's good. Mm. This sip. is not this is not semi-sweet. This tastes like um bitch. Yeah, it's bitter. And have you had um what is it's not uh, uh, it's a it's um I'm having a brain freeze. It's the red, not red Moscato, because that's sweet. It's an um it's in the that Moscato family. It's um it's the light color like this. It's very it's bitter though. It's not it's not it's sweet like that. Bitter bitch tonight. Yeah, they tricked me bitter because bitch. I was asking about bitter different bitch, stuff. Bitter bitch, bitter bitch, bitter bitch. <laughs> I, I'm like, yeah, they got it's just super sweet. But I guess with um, hints of, of honeysuckle and orange peel, I mean, what did I expect? Bitterness. Yeah. Welcome mm. to the BB Club. For today. For today. For today. Look at we both broke the rules. You're not a bitter bitch, and you decided to be one today. I, it was not by choice, though. They snuck Jay that Lou up. They want to switch. <laughs> oh, he's no, got not tonight, J. Lou. Let her be a bitter bitch. He, he got something sweet. Ooh. Mine is a, let what? her be a bitter bitch tonight. Let her be a bitter bitch. <laughs> Before we go into our spice, our spicier mouth bowls, you know, we normally go ahead and dip. Uh, I wanted to do a public service announcement. Um, and Elle and I both agreed on this because... Because we do the sip and lives with you guys, you know, we still in, in the middle of the week or sometimes before we actually go on, the, you know, today, we'll kind of touch base because we, we still need to do our powwows and stuff, you know. So um, one of the things that happened on her end and then I was seeing on this end and then just stuff in the news, um, Elle, you said there was the, um, an, um, the volleyball player for the Olympics. Yeah. Got, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They got a salt in the LA coming out of at the ballet coming out of a restaurant. Right. But her face was all like bruised oh up. And, yeah. And then she had the stitches. 
Right. And then that and then I saw randomly on um TikTok there was a lady she was walking in New York and she said this guy got in front of her and then stepped on the heel of her shoe. So she said she has long legs. He was walking, he kind of slowed his pace and it meant her the front of her shoe hit his heel. So he turned around and told her, Don't step on my shoe. And she's like, You got in front of me, you stepping on my shoe. And then he told her, you know, I you know, I'll bust you in your face. And he was calling her bitches and stuff. And she told him he was acting real feminine to want to hit her. And that went to him busting her in her face. So she was making a um TikTok and she was crying like noticeably like sobbing saying you know this is not right i'm a woman and he hit me in my face and then um i think we talked about something else Elle. i can't remember the other thing it was something else was that we because so i was like protect black women <laughs> yeah she l went to protect black women and i mean i'm all for it but what i was sensing was the climate of it all you i'm just saying my public service announcement is you guys have to be alert and um also you know you want to make sure that you're letting other people know if there's a level of discomfort um when she says she exited the restaurant she was with her friend and the homeless guy like locked eyes with her and started to kind of say something and she she's like she turned back around when she turned back around that's when she was hit with this pipe across her face and so you know you don't want to be so dismissive and I'm, I'm going to say this. I live in California. I'm not, I'm not far from downtown. It's not even worth my money when I got to like uh, eat like I'm on the yard. You know what I'm saying? I'm having to watch and, and watch my back. Homeless people pressing their face against the glass. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm a meal. I mean, it's, it's not it's not cool. You, I feel like if you have to go somewhere and they don't have an adequate amount of staffing or security and they know they're in a location where it's heavily populated with homeless people that could be dealing with mental health issues it is not worth your dollar and we don't need to get suited and booted and have armor bearers and other people and escorts up in there unless we're really making that kind of money it's not that serious so i'm just saying if there are males or even if you don't have any males in your life if you have other people you know your friends that you rock with use the buddy system and use some, you know, wisdom when you're going places because, you know, oh, I know what it was. It was mentioned to me earlier that, you know, a guy got aggressive because he approached a, a woman about, you know, getting her, getting her number. And, you know, she didn't want to give him a number. So, you know, he was getting aggressive. So my thing is, if, if, if you're going to be somewhere late, even, you know, early, and it's, if you feel like it's heavily populated with homeless people, or it's just a lot of stuff going on, and you may not be able to have your head on the swivel like that, do the buddy system. Let people know where you're going to be, and do not turn your back on somebody. When you say, I mean, the, the lady in New York says she told him he was being feminine, and he, he, you know, was like, don't say that, you know, I'm, I'm bust you in your mouth. And he was calling her bitches and stuff. That's my other thing. Unless you got two decisions. Right. Yeah. You got two decisions when somebody, especially as a woman, unless I'm ready to go, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm ready for war, you know, with a grown man. And there's some people about that life. They choose violence. Hey, I'm not knocking you, but you know what it comes with. But if somebody shows you that they're aggressive or, you know, they're getting verbally aggressive, you can exit stage left. You know, you need to create or put some distance between the two of you because with her specifically, she doesn't deserve it. But when I was listening to the TikTok, she said after this, she said this man came from behind her, stepped on her foot, walking forward. And then it was, you know, he got aggressive with her. And once he was like, you know, don't step on my foot and it didn't make any sense to her. Why do you proceed to make conversation with this person? Either there's no dialogue i'm choosing violence and and I'm, I'm with the shits you can catch these hands we're just gonna make it do what it do we're gonna do that or i'm i'm getting up out the situation but you can't you don't need to be reasoning with somebody you don't need to be trying to have a discussion because people are showing you it's a problem mm -hmm. so that's just my thing anybody in a live I, I feel like you know Ellen and i discussed earlier like we can't just jump into the topics yeah. and not touch on that because this is happening in broad daylight. You know what I'm saying? This is not something that's happening under the cloak of darkness or during the various hours at two or three in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Or during those hours when the various activity can go on. It's like, no, this is happening in, in you know, regular hours. It's, it's yeah. crazy out there right now. And 
pick your battles. Everything does not warrant a response. If someone comes up to you like that, you don't need to say nothing. Go walk into the nearest retail store, whatever you have to do, because people are crazy. Even with road rage, road rage is not the same as it used to be 10 years ago, okay? Someone will pull a gun and start shooting at your car. So it's like, pick your battles. People are struggling financially. People are struggling mentally and emotionally. And you just never know what's going on in people's head. And as innocent as they may look, you just don't know. So pick your battles. Keep your guard up. Be safe. If you got to get some base, a taser, I don't know what you got, if you, what you got to do to keep yourself safe, but just be safe and try not to put yourself in any predicament that is going to compromise your safety or if you have kids, compromise your safety. Because like I was telling Bear earlier, the reason I got the car I got is because I didn't want a, a regular, I didn't want a car that was going to make me have to dip into the car to put Harlow in the car seat. I needed something a little higher, so I got a mini SUV. You know, like, I was very strategic with my car purchase, and I'm very st strategic about not being out late with Harlow, not being out late just if I was by myself in general, because people are not all the way here these days, so just be safe as much as you guys can just be aware of your surroundings you know what i'm saying and um yeah because it's, it's, it's wild it's wild out there i'm reading where arkansas barbie said uh that her, the dad said stay strapped and share locations i'm all for the share locations but i'm gonna say this and you know i'm transparent i'm just like you know keeping 100 you're pregnant um, L, you mentioned that earlier, you know, if you're out with Harlow, just still being strapped, you still got to get to the gun. You, mm -hmm. you know, when you're, when you're with a child, you're pregnant or, or with, with L is with the baby. If a man in your life knows that, you know, there could possibly be an issue, then there need to be some adjustments made to, if they possibly can go get the stuff for you or they go with you, you need a, you need a second pair a second set of eyes a, a second physical person there because you have you're pregnant you know what i'm saying and mm -hmm. and back to was telling l you gotta get to the gun and you out there with harlow you know that, that's a whole lot going on you know what i'm saying and we're not john wick up in this bitch you know what i'm saying i mean nobody's busting like that so i just feel like even having a gun if it was just a, one person and they have to range weekly and they can you know what i'm saying that's what they do but having it and then having to get to it and then use it and you got the baby or your yeah. child, it's just a, that's a whole it's a, lot. It's a lot to, it's yeah. too much. To yeah, so if you, if you, yeah, if you know somebody, you know, male or female, I say buddy system, but if you have a male in your life, you know what I'm saying, where you can have that, that transparency. Last week we talked about soft girl season and we kind of laughed and snickered about it, but it's, it's soft girl true. season, you know? It's soccer season. Have our this is a, this season. Yeah, this is and 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 as we talked about it well, the week before that or so, we're talking about you know accountability, and I say not of just black men. That was the topic, but if you have males in your life, they are masculine. Let them assert. You know what I'm saying? Them, them. You know, being men, and and be the ones to make some adjustments to where you feel safe. You don't got to carry that that torch. You don't have to shoulder that weight. If you can have an open conversation and let them know this is what's going on, this is how I'm feeling, and there, this, uh, these are some things I'd like assistance with if you can. If not, what can you do? And at that point, you know, it's going to be soft dude season if he really can't, you know what I'm saying, and bring some efforts. It's like, oh, you over here with the soft girls. So, you know what I mean? But that's that's how, that's how I'm looking at it. I mean, so, I'm on a little rant, but I ain't going to do that tonight. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you try to talk about like the other day. My mom be soft. Then we gonna be hard. <laughs> then Ron's like defeminization of women. Yeah, we not we not gonna, gonna go on there her. today. I'll let it no. free tonight. I see free. tonight. I'm too cute for it tonight. Okay, well Arkansas Barbie, do the do the buddy system. Do the buddy system. He's you know, and I said if he's not there, you do the buddy system. You know what I mean? But that's just my PSA. We can get up off of that one. That's just. You know, our two cents we wanted to add on on that particular thing, and uh, 
without further ado, L, you can go ahead and kick us off with, you know, whatever you want to jump into spicy or mild bowl. I'm with, I'm with it. I'm ready to rock and roll. I got my spicy cucumbers. I put my tahini on. Mm. Um, let's see. <laughs> What do y'all think? But y'all always say spicy, so I don't know if I want to listen to y'all tonight. Um, I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do for my medium bowl. Okay. So, how mar <clears throat> how marriage, babies, and the responsibilities change our friendships. <laughs> So this is a good one. And I actually know. Bell, I'm sorry. Bell, say it again. Oh. You said how marriage? How marriage, babies, and responsibilities change our friendships. OK. So <clears throat> I know all about this because I know when I got pregnant, a friend of mine of 20 years was very upset. <laughs> I'll just say that that friendship has ended, unfortunately. And I don't, I guess for us, maybe it was, you know, she had a vision for my life, maybe. And I had a vision for my life. And in my vision, yeah, there was never kids involved until I started, you know, when you, as you get older, you, things you thought you never want, you start wanting. So I can see how friendships um, can change with your life circumstances. It's not always true. Sometimes, you know, your friendships change for the better. Sometimes they don't. I mean, in life, people fall off as you grow. And my situation is very unfortunate that, you know, that um, our friendship dissolved because I ended up pregnant. So do you, have you experienced change in friendships, change in family, change in any life circumstance because you got married, because you had a kid or any life, you know, any changes in your life circumstances? So you said marriage, children, children and, and hold on, let me look it up again. Hold on. Marriage, babies, and responsibilities. Hmm. Um I saw changes in all of those. And I think when you when when things happen in your life, it shakes it up because it challenges the things around you. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. So there are challenges, I think, that we begin to face um, with parenting, with new responsibilities. And so those things also ch begin to challenge the people in our lives because the dynamics of the relationship can change. Mm -hmm. And that's in marriage, too. You know, that's in marriage and getting married. When you get married, you know, sometimes you'll hear people say, oh, man, we're not going to never see you again because you're married now. Or, Will you still make time for the girls, you know, girls night or, you know, you in a relationship now? And some people's lives change drastically because they're in relationship. You know, they make jokes on it on movies and stuff where, you know, they'll be like, we don't even see them anymore. They they got a man now, you know, or they're in a relationship um, with with parenting. But uh, it definitely changes because you have a whole person that you're responsible for so you're not doing some of the same things you did before and that doesn't mean that it had to be something irresponsible that just means that the dynamics of things have changed you're a mom now you know so you're thinking differently and again you've been entrusted with this little person so there's things that come into play like you're always putting them first like how you know is this going to take time away from them how does it affect my interaction with them. If I'm going into this environment, is this going to be a good environment for her or him? So those things change. And that, again, shakes up relationships because you may have been cool with certain people and it begins to reveal things. Those different things, responsibility, um, children and marriage can reveal different things in people's character that you may not have actually seen before. And you can see it now. 
because they were accustomed to maybe just having all out access to you and now they don't you know because you're in a relationship or you have a child or you have more responsibilities now you might have leveled up like you said um you grew apart but i don't look at it as growing apart sometimes you leave people behind because they don't want to do better and the elevation it's like turbulence on the plane it's it's messing with everybody and they like i want off this flight matter of fact i didn't even sign up for this i just want to kind of stay you know the have want things to stay the way that it, it, it was between us so you find you're kind of bumping heads because you're trying to express to them no nothing's changed we still cool like i'm we're still friends i'm just a mom now i'm just married now i have a husband or i'm in a relationship now you know or i have more responsibilities be it that you started your own business or you're putting you burning the midnight oil there and you're putting in 45 50 hours a week at the job i can't give i can't have that time that we used to have and i think that I think those things are good transitions because you get to really see again like the character and also people really rock with you because yeah. that's just that's that's a real selfish that exemplifies that it's, it's a really selfish individual if they are continuing to pull your coattails and remind you of what you need to do for them or how the dynamics have changed and and they they can clearly see that you've got some big life changes that have happened and it's like are you here to lend some some effort some support you know something else other than you pointing out that we don't hang no more or you got you know a man or a girlfriend now or you know dang you always at work every time i talk to you you know you working on your thing or you you know you at work or you working on your stuff we don't never have time to kick it like we used to or we don't you don't never make time for me those are are clear red flags for me like yeah we definitely are operating on different levels at this point and i'm an exit stage left because i'm not going to continue to tell somebody that you know it's not like that why do i have to continue to reaffirm or coddle you and i'm i'm growing or there are things that i have to do my first priority now is me being a parent to a child you know or me being a good partner spouse mate to my helpmate to my husband or you know what i mean I'm, I'm working at this job, getting this money to invest a seed into me growing this this business that I, you know, I came up with. So how's it going to grow itself if I don't create the time for it? And that time may carve into the time we spent together. But why don't you get yourself in here and see how you can assist? And that'll be a, a you know a form of us spending time. You know, why don't you kind of find where you fit in in my life changing because it's changing not because I just went off and did some stuff, but these are like things that are for the better or things that require a great deal of my time. So, you know, I don't have, I don't know if you were saying, you know, asking me specifically for examples, but I, I have so many in those different areas. And it just, I say it revealed the nature or the true character of individuals when those different things, because I've done all three of those. Mm -hmm. Have you know, I became a parent, you know, I'm married, and then I've had, you know, different responsibilities that I've assumed or different entrepreneurial endeavors that I've taken on that require more of my time. So you get to kind of see where people are just let the friendship just fade. It's like, you don't call me, I'm not going to call you. But you know they're not doing nothing, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like they, we kind of fell off, we kind of grew apart. No, we didn't. You let it. You didn't want to put the time in. You wanted to just use me as a scapegoat. And you clearly knew what was on my plate. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And even to touch on what you were saying earlier, you said something that I don't want to like chime in when you were like, uh, I think when you said you got pregnant and you were like, you know, because I got pregnant, that's why the friendship ended. But I don't think that's it. And that's not to speak negatively on the individual, but anybody that, that has an issue with something that's happening with your body, with your finances, with your life, a, a baby, you know what I mean? How can I, how can I even come in and try to tell you about something? And you literally are about to have a child at some point. You are trying to figure things out. The last thing you want to think about is me as a whole last person. I can clearly still wipe my butt, go, you know, open the door. I can make decisions. You are about to become a, the decision maker to someone else. How dare me come in as, as your friend and start pressuring you or making you feel like, you know, it's a problem because of that. If I don't have anything good to say, I just need to be there. If it's if it's something that's foreign to me, if I don't have children, it's like, yo, I don't even know about this, but I'm gonna try to read a book. 
yeah. or try to figure this out because this clearly it's a whole nother person that you're about to be um responsible for so i just was like don't 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 say that because in that there's the energy of it like it ended because of that it did it didn't end because you got pregnant it ended because there were some other things that were revealed in the person's character and it just wasn't it wasn't a good fit for you guys anymore you know what i mean that's how i'm looking at it if that you know because i just feel like the weight of that to say it that way is just like you assume a responsibility and you didn't have no you know you didn't have, have no part in that and it did weigh heavy on me during my pregnancy too even though i tried not to let it that among other things just weighed so heavy on me you know because that's 20 years you know um, yeah so that was what all. and i know everything doesn't change when you have those response you know these certain responsibilities but you know it is interesting how people around you change you know oh yeah i want to read some of the comments so Arkansas. Oh, that's, Arkansas. What I, that's what I call myself trying to do. <laughs> and then I just moved my hand back. I was like, let me back. Let me back. Because I was like, I'm like, yeah, let me let her do that. <laughs> so Arkansas Barbie said, just because you get married or have kids doesn't mean you change. You just have a new addition to the club. J. Lou said, unfortunately, it does if they're selfish people. Milan said to Arkansas Barbie, some people do change. I've had friends that have a BF only and have disappeared. I think balance slash evolution of a relationship is learned. Arkansas Barbie says, I mean, I'm still the same person. My interests are the same. I still love to have dinner parties, etc. I'm still me. I just have a little one now. It's not you, it's the people who show the colors. And then that was what J. Lou said. And Milan said, priorities start to change and our friends can feel that by lack of time spent as compared to others. Facts, J. Lou says, Arkansas Barbie says, I've always been the friend whose friends have kids early. So I believe meeting people where they are. And J. Lou said, but it shouldn't be received negatively. And Milan said, check yourself before you wreck your friendship perspective is everything i mean even for me being having my first kid your priorities do change um my time changed you know what i'm saying like you have to be more specific with how you lend your time because you can't stretch yourself so far I know for me, my priority is always business and my baby, Harlow, you know, making sure that I'm putting enough time for her to thrive, to learn, and to just be all that she can be in the army. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? So yeah, my time has definitely changed since having the kid, but I, I've always been very specific about how I share and spend my time but i know having a kid i've been a little more stingy with my time because you know you got to get your rest you got to put your energy into your day-to-day -day. you got to put your energy into your kids so i can see how things can change but i think it just depends you know people have to understand you have a new responsibility and with responsibility definitely comes change you know um, I also think that when there's change happening in your life, that's a time you need to be very um, <laughs> attentive to your BFFs, you know, your your squad, because those the 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 efforts or the energy or what they do is very telling, mm -hmm. and it can kind of give you an idea of how you need to make some adjustments. Yes. with that relationship and you save yourself a lot of time like that sometimes somebody keep doing the same thing and you're not even like paying attention because you're so engulfed in this other stuff and it's like if you would just really in like okay in hindsight let me let me really dial in because this person's been rocking with me that thus far and now you know this has happened even though my attention and my energy and efforts is on this i got my got my side eye on you you know what i'm saying i'm kind of i'm watching because you're my BFF, you're, you're my road dog, you're, you know, you're a part of my squad. So I really need to kind of see what you're doing 
in the midst of this transition, this big change that's happening in my life. And if I watch, I can make some adjustments and save myself some time and just kind of, I'm a, I'm a cut off kind of person. It's like, if I see some stuff and you don't even have to do it, I can let you know, you know, like, you know what? Mm, I don't think this is really working. I don't want to continue to waste my time, nor do I want you to waste yours pretending like we can really sustain this. Yeah. This is not sustainable at this point. You were showing me with everything in your actions that this is not something that's, you know, worth your time anymore. And so I think if we would pay attention to what people are showing us with their actions, and we talked about that in other um, a prior um, conversation about believing, you know, who when somebody shows you who they are, it's like really believe them. Are you really believing what they show you or you're continuing to hone in on the potential or what you want it to be? You know, so um, I think that's a big thing. When big things, changes are happening in your life, although that is going on too, I think that you really need to kind of, you know, make the time to assess the relationships and what people are doing and how, you know, how are, how are they moving during your transition? Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of have these real heart to heart and maybe hard conversations and say, you know what, just based on like the last month or so, it's this, you know, based on what you show me, and I don't care how many years we have under our belt, yeah. this is what you're showing me. So, you know, it may end up being a timeout, you know, and that's wishful thinking. They may, you know, fight for it and be like, that's not the case at all. But I find that if you hit something head on like that, people become very defensive and then they, they will take that exit. It's like, I can't believe you said that or you accused me of that. And then that is the, you know what I'm saying? That's the reason they need it to be like, she accused me or he, he said this. And you know what? I don't even have time for that. You know, you're not going. And it's like, oh, well, now you, you really took the exit. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you know, if I'm telling you something that's not true, prove it in your actions. Yeah. Ask me some questions, you know, and, and let me know, like, how can I change the, the narrative of this? How can I? let you know that's not my intention and this is definitely not the direction i want our friendship or relationship to go in so not only what can i do because there are things you can probably tell me but i'm gonna be trying to figure out how i can change this because i don't want it to be this way yeah well if people don't come off with that and you hit it like head on like yo this is what i'm feeling this is what's going on and this is where i'm at with it and i don't think this is a good fit you know, and I, and, I, and I care enough for you not to waste your time, you know, and vice versa. And they're accepting of that, like, well, whatever, or they're combative. You can, you really get to see, you know, like, oh, let me, let me, I'm glad this happened and, and hurts, but shit, growth hurts, you know? Any, anything worth something, you know, you're going you gonna to lose some sleep. It's going to be some fresh, a company with some frustration. And some moments where you were like, I've never been here before. I don't even understand what's going on, but I'm going to trust the process and continue to move forward with intent and purpose. But yeah. Yeah. Cheers to that. Did anybody have, I mean, I know stuff we're going. <laughs> What'd you say, Al? You hold your glass with one hand. Now I'm doing the two hold hand holder. Oh, because this, because this, I'm four, I'm four conversations thin. <laughs> did um anybody I, I know you can see the comments but did anybody have any other input on that or questions um, or no jay lou had just said it's supposed to i think that was in response to milan's check yourself before you wreck yourself perspective is there and then stage 21 said amen so on that note bear are you pulling from your spicy bowl or your mild bowl tonight well, you kind of you kind of forced my hand because I don't like. I thought you were going to start with spicy, especially since you you know you start the little drink before the show. It's like hell's ready. <laughs> hold on, <laughs> hold on, Vera. Milan said, "Can these open conversations about priority shifts be had before you get married or have kids?" Wondering if that's weird. Ha ha. I mean, no, it's not weird because with any relationship you have, that's. Uh, open communication you know what i'm saying in my situation i know my pregnancy came from way like <laughs> less you know but i think that um 
having com open conversations if your friends or family are open to that um is good you know and just see where it goes but ultimately whatever decision you make is your decision well I, um i want to make sure because I, um, we might have read into the question differently i was looking at the question in relationship i'm not sure if you were responding to it as you know pregnancy um but i was my, responding as a whole okay well for for me i think that's the that's a problem that these conversations aren't had and people are jumping into a relationship and not having a full understanding of the person what their deal breakers and non-negotiables are or you know their desires their goals they like that's the after part it's like the whole physical part like i'm attracted to you there's love here let's get it in and now we go together and now we're together we go together and real bad exactly exactly <laughs> Right. So now we go together and in us trying to figure it out and I, people move in with each other, all kind of stuff. Now I'm learning stuff I don't like about you after the fact. Or I'm learning that, you know, you're horrible with time or you're not really supportive of some things that I'm passionate about. And I think those are conversations that should be had before you decide to make any type of commitment relationship wise any type of commitment even friendship wise i i i put my friends through the ringer i feel like the title friendship is given so loosely that's my friend no that's your work co that's your co-worker that's your associate you work together and because you see each other every day for the last six or seven years sometimes you'll just throw friendship on that but what have they done that's proving to the title friendship it's like how have they earn your friendship because you should know what type of asset you are what you come to the table with as a friend and so what have they done other than they brought some coffee i see them we have conversations on lunch you know they bought me lunch sometime i bought them lunch and then it ends when we go home and it you know next day repeat so i just think that the relationship is started very loosely friendships start very loosely People fall into these situationships, and I say situationships, not just with guy, girl, where it's, I'm talking about friendships, these situationships. It's like, when were they, when did they ever have to prove themselves to hold the title friend? Yeah. You just start calling a friend because you guys got six years under your belt from working at the same place, and you go to a couple, a couple of happy hours together, and, you know, they might have bought you a couple of, you know, some food or, or you know, gave you a, a gift at the Christmas exchange. Now that's your friend or that's your BFF because you spend a great majority of your time, 40 hours plus a week at work. So um, and, and even though it may come off offensive, you don't even have to say, you know, people are like, well, that's weird. What do I say? It's their name. It's like, hi, this is Jack. We work together. You know, this is so-and-so. We work together. But it's not weird when it's like, I don't know you like that. Yeah. We don't, we haven't gone the distance and, and gone through the mud in a capacity where I can bestow the title friend on you. You know, you ain't even asked, you ain't, you, yeah, you ain't even showed up to stuff I've invited you to, Flake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, but we ain't I mean, even on that shit. Yeah, but I mean, that type of stuff happens. Now, hopefully that answers um, your question, Milan. Uh, I know she she said something when I was talking. It's great practice just for romantic but platonic relationships. Love it. Oh yeah, definitely. You gotta earn. You gotta earn my energy and my time. Yeah. I'm not about to, people. People go hang out with people they won't even. This sounds bad. Take a bullet for it. Like they'll really be like, I I don't I don't even like her, but you out. At dinner with her if if you got stuff going down like the homeless people are you gonna dip you know what i'm saying are you gonna leave them are you are you willing to stand in love with them if something happens you like that's not gonna happen not while we together yeah. but then you don't like this person why even be out there with them like that i yeah. think people need to kind of really reassess who they're hanging with stuff because it's these situations it's like i don't even really care for them but i don't have nothing to do tonight so we're gonna go to this happy hour I guess I'll go. It's like, oh, you, you, you're you, not even looking at it. You don't got nothing going on. And you're just willing to do whatever with your time. Yeah. But, you know, for me, I'm not, I'm not about that life. I don't want to go and be in the presence of somebody that if someone came to the table, 
and it was a problem, they got a problem not only with that person, they got a problem with me too, you know? And and if if you don't have people around you like that, then you should be having a lot of inexpensive dates with yourself. You know, it should be you know very light on the pockets because it's just you. Needs people need to learn to enjoy their time a little bit more. You know, and 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 value who they are when they come to the relationship with. You know. Okay, Bear. Man, listen, if I can't bring around my core people, then we ain't friends. We whatever title we met under. <laughs> that. All right. That's true. So where are you pulling from tonight? And I'm gonna get your butt. You sleepy, you be yawning. I said, Y'all start that bottle early. She don't. You know, but you know I'm on three hour time difference too. And you know I be getting up early. <laughs> and I be trying yeah. to on, I be trying to just, you know, but you know I'm on that three. I'm I'm. It's already eight o'clock out here. You know. You know I. Girl, you young. You young. Eight o'clock is early. I. You young. You know I'm hitting forty soon. Just saying. And that's along with forty. Show ain't. Forty's lovely. Show ain't. Um. I I think like I said you pulled my hand. This this wine is hitting by the way. I have to think about for me like what's I about to say. Cause it's that bitter bitch. I was like, look, the mic. Look, bro. It don't take much for me. <laughs> um, I think I will go to the spicy bowl. That wasn't my plan. Carol, we talk about different topics, so Bear is about to pull a new topic. Okay, so spicy bowl. I hope it's not good in here, cause I don't, I don't like to keep it too serious. You know, I mean, it's fun, cause we did the PSA, which was like. Yeah. Let's see. Um, this says determining if people are in your life for a season, reason, lifetime. And the reason I put this in the spicy bowl is because it's very cut and dry. You know, people will play around with it, but it's like, what value do you add? Black, you don't have no follow through. It's Josiah putting on the Flaking all the time, you don't bring nothing to this relationship, and I'm always burning the midnight oil on the phone with you, talking about show shit. You know nothing about me. You know what I mean? Why are you here? Is this for a season, reason, or lifetime? I think we need to come into stuff like the pit bull on the porch. Like, why are you here? Especially when you move in a purpose and you understand what you got going on, and your time is valuable to you. You need to ask that shit. Like, why are you here? You know, what what value do you add to me? And that to me gets spicy because it's like, are we we just having sex? Are we just, you know, feeling a void? We cuddle buddies. Do I hang with you at happy hour because I don't have no friends and, and you feel that space too? You know, or am I in bondage to title because we cousins, you know, uh, we grew up together. My, you know, my mom and my your mom are friends, and we've been diaper buddies, and so they would be so upset if they knew that we weren't hanging together. Like those things are spicy to me because I'll pull the sheets off all of it. It's like expose all of it. This is not real. It's not real. We keep, you know, entertaining something under the false guise or title, which goes right back to what we were talking about a few minutes ago. So, how many people have been allowing people? to occupy space and not really looking at why are you here? Are you here for a season, a reason, or a lifetime? A reason can be simply like, yo, you were in the class that I'm in in college and we help each other, you know, with this with history class or whatever. That's a reason, right? That's it. We're study buddies. You get, you get good grades. I'm trying to get a good grade. That's a reason. You know, lifetime is, again, you add value to it, and we're going to distance. You've been in love with me, and our value systems align, and we rock with each other. It's proven. Season can be like, I'm not really sure if I want to continue to rock with you because you, you seem like you'd be on some BS. I'm going to have to see if it's a 50-50 thing, and I'm, you know, I'm talking to you. I'm really, like, watching constantly so I can make the decision that this was really a season. This is not a lifetime type thing, and there is no reason anymore. We are just going through the motions. And that can be friendship, relationship, and family too. Because family gets off light. And that's why it's in the spicy bowl. 
you will keep dealing with family and there is no reason they are not no lifetime and it's not no season they should have been gone they are there entitled alone and, and you're trying to appease somebody else because it literally just ended the life on its own <laughs> hold on um it's coming we're coming back guys <laughs> Okay, guys, give us a second. Sorry about that. That is crazy. Ding, son. Here we go again. Hold on, guys. Hi. Oh, you're welcome. I was like to see. I was like to see. It literally ended the lie. Just it just. It, no, that's like wild. the lie literally Maybe ended, it was, and it's like I was speaking. Instagram. Ain't I was speaking. Are we going to TikTok. We going to TikTok or YouTube. Or are we going to be on air? Here, I we said, I'm spitting facts. No, it now. got so spicy for the lie because I started talking about family. No, I started talking about those family ties. And it was like, like oh. bitch? But that's, I think, the, yes, yeah, exactly. Uh, stage 21. Yeah, Mary, the topic was too real. Yeah, no, those, I think we need to be really looking at the, the, uh, the family ones. That's why I get spicy, because it's like, you want me to evaluate my mama? Yep. Yeah. Just like that. Yep. <laughs> For real. Because Say, L, stop. They gonna cut y'all off. What is that? What is sh you guys know I never Because they shadow like banning us. Shadow banning is when they be blocking our content. They do that we for a show. lot of black creators on Instagram. They be shadow banning. They'll let the nasty uh, shit come up. Remember what we talked about a couple weeks that's ago? Wild. But the real stuff, that's wild. they don't be, you know what I'm saying? They be shadow you banning. You can't. You can't be, um, you can't be, you know what I'm saying, beefing at the wedding, <laughs> beefing on the ground. Um, yeah, I can. Jerry Maguire. I'm leaving. But I, so but, I'm taking everybody. Like, <laughs> seriously, I really think a lot of people, and that's why I was in my spicy bowl, I really feel like a lot of people overlook the fact specifically with family that they're just there because it's like they're supposed to be there you know they're supposed to be there and i can't dare you know put a yeah. you know a scope on the relationship is there a reason you know that we serve you know is there is this a lifetime type thing because i get ready quick you know if it's not conducive to my growth nor am i you know assisting you in being the best word yeah. so you can dip you can exit stage left real quick you know, so I feel like um, I don't think enough of us look yeah. at season, reason, lifetime. I think we just entertain people um, on a monetary type thing and we make excuses for stuff that they do because it, it's just like, you know, there isn't anyone else or, you know, why not? I'm not doing anything else. So it really kind of shows where you at too as a person. You know, if you can entertain these flaky uh you know non-supportive yeah. uh non-goal oriented individuals i said it i said it with my chest then that that speaks values about you as a person you know if you looking at their life and it's wife yours probably is too if you if i can look and be like they they ain't never doing this they don't never got nothing yeah. going on that's who you rock with you probably don't got nothing going on either you know you you are a lump sum total of the five yeah, people exactly. you surround yourself with, and you exemplify specifically in relationship the other person. I believe that if you're walking around with a dude that he looking raggedy, that that speaks values about you. I do get that there are mental health issues. I'm not negating that. People have drug problems, all kind of stuff. But those are things readily like you kind of see, and you can make some season, reason, lifetime 
you know, like, wait a minute. Because it does reflect on you as an individual. Ain't no way I'm about to be linked up in a relationship and my dude is looking raggedy, my kids, or, you know, my family. If you around people, they should be elevating or they should be moving on. It was a season, you know. So if you can continue to stay within the confines of a relationship that, that doesn't have growth, like I said, that's flaky, there are no goals, and you keep jumping on the phone, having these empty meetings, whether y'all drinking together or going to dinner or the girls or guys night out, that speaks values about who you are. If you looking at somebody and you can identify all the BS they got going on, why are you entertaining them? That's what you need to ask yourself, because you whack too. You just as whack. If I can, if I can entertain a whack dude, you whack too. If I can continue to talk about how they not coming through and they did this and that, but I'm regularly picking up my phone to have some type of interaction with them, be it male or female, you whack too. You whack too. You why 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 birds of a feather flock together. Mm -hmm. You're that person. Yep. The reveal is happening from the spicy bowl. You you just as whack. You just as whack. You just as not committed. You you lack goals. You lack motivation. You probably an undercover flake too, and you get to hide under their flakiness. You complain about them being flaky, but you can flake next week too because they flaked last week. So it's like you got to level up when you in my circle, season, reason, or lifetime. I need to know why you're here and what's going on. Because if not, I'm accepting it. I'm just as whack as you, and that's why I can entertain these whack imposters for people, individuals, whether it's because of title or, you know, I really don't know. I'm not sure if we friends. You know, I, I don't even, I, we kind of cool. Do you, does she have your back? I don't really know. Well, if you call her right now, does she, you know, come through? I'm not sure because she kind of flaky. You flaky too. That's why you can entertain that. That's a reflection of who you are in your care. So anytime you start assessing the people you're around and you're seeing all the crap in them, you probably got that going on too. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't entertain them as long as you have to be entertained. And that's my spicy bowl. And it was in the spicy because yeah. it gets real. Like, I don't, if I keep seeing something in somebody and it, it, it should irritate you. It should make you feel uncomfortable when people are saying one thing and not doing it. They're not showing up. They lack vision. They lack motivation. They lack whatever program you on. It should be some light mind types of things happening. It should be some messing up. It should be some things like some commonalities like, oh, this is why we mess well. This is why I feel like this is a season. Because, you know, we're thriving. We're doing things. You know, we're moving. Hopefully this turns into a lifetime. But when you got a bunch of stuff under, you know, under the false guise of we cool, but I don't know if they're going to come through. I don't know if they're going to support. I don't know if they're going to show up. I really don't know if they have my best interest at heart. Well, she says she do, or he say he does. Well, maybe we go together. I've been giving him draws for about three, four weeks. You know, he called me real late, but he said he was going to call me earlier, but then he got caught up. He's calling me now because he's going to come over and we're going to do what we do. Like, you got to check yourself. You know what that is. So I was going to pull a topic, but I just want to just make my topic offhand. I, and I know this topic is on one of our, in one of the bowls, but since we talking about this, I just want to piggyback because I know we briefly, just you and I have spoke about mm -hmm. the concept of support and elevation. You know, it's easy for anyone to say oh i support you you that is really great you know it's like it's not an action it's just verbiage versus elevation is someone it's like support at a higher level this one really wanting to see you do well and and succeed mm -hmm. anyone can be quote unquote supportive you know what i'm saying and and see even if you don't see the vision fully, you're still there to like elevate. Whereas other people, it's like their support is like, yeah, that's so amazing. Yeah, you do so well. But it's like sometimes behind closed doors, they don't want to see you in those 
quote unquote supported people. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? So it's like just in your conversation talking about the supportive people time wasters it's like are you supporting me or are you elevating me because i can count on my five fingers maybe even not all five people who i feel like elevate me in real life and then i probably got a whole bunch of fingers and toes of quote unquote support people and time wasters you know what I'm saying? And I think it's important to differentiate the two because we can often mistake the supporters for people who are elevating us and really there for us. And they really ain't. They What they are here for is your downfall because they have no vision for their life. I think too, you though, know, when you don't you know, have some here. accountability, and I, and I was saying before that about reflection of you know what people are. I think people kind of just don't want to be alone. And it's rather to have some people around than not. Because if you know what type of supporter you are, you, you can identify that as somebody else. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. And it's nothing to wonder about. You know how you get down. That's why I said it goes back to you. It's like a mirror. If you're accepting of that, then that's you. That's who you are too. You know, that's why you're able to accept that low level of commitment, that low level of support, that barely get along street, half ass relationship, whatever it is, because that's a reflection of who you are. That's why you can operate in it. You can't operate in something where you operate, you really putting in the work and the time, it, it should irritate you. It should be a level of discomfort because it's like, I wouldn't do anything like that. You directly, if you don't, you should always do self reflection. Like, is that the kind of support I would give? Is that the type of friend I would be? Is this the type of boyfriend or girlfriend yeah. I would want to have? Is this the type of sister, brother, mother I would be? Cousin, aunt, uncle? If you start doing that, it starts with you. And if you get more no's than yeses, they got to shake the spot, man. It's, it, it's not a good fit. And, and if you don't want to make that hard decision, again, that speaks values about the fear that you have. Because you don't believe you're worthy of entertaining somebody that's on that level. You got some stuff you haven't even grown yet. That's why you keep entertaining them. Yes. You see it all the time. When people grow, like you said, they leave. I say leave them behind. People will be like, I don't know we grew apart. No, we didn't because you never grew. I left you behind. Because I chose to do more. Be about more. To put some structure and, and some discipline in my life. And so when you start doing that, it shakes things up. And when it shakes things up, it yeah. shakes shit off of you, too. Yeah. People start falling by the wayside. Like, whoa, wait a minute. You're doing yeah. too much. You're thinking too much. you always talking about winning. you always talking about getting a bag. you always talking about leveling up. Why you got to always have your stuff together? Why are you always trying to stretch your vocabulary? Why are you talking about we got to be on time? Why? When it, it starts, starts hitting like that, it's like, they were really talking to themselves because I'll, I'll be that. I'll be the best version of myself. You're talking to yourself now because you're going to level up if you hang in with me. Because mm -hmm. it's going to Like when people say you do yeah, better than people, people and I be like, operate but I am fear. because I want that better. Fear will make you do things. People don't want to be alone. They don't want to, you know, they don't want to deal with any conflict. They want everything to be smoothed over. It's like, damn, I don't want to ruffle anybody's feathers. I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable. And then if I do that, then I don't have anybody. You know, no one will be here. But it's like, ain't nobody there now. They just occupying space. They don't really rock with you. You want to, you want a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Moment. You want to, you really, you, the man you asking for, he ain't it. But you entertain this right now because you're afraid. You know, the opportunity or the friendship you desire, you entertain this because you're afraid of leveling up and actually being what you desire to have in your life. And it may require some alone time, but you're never alone. You have, you make good company. When you can enjoy your own company, that's some next level type shit. Mm -hmm. 
I enjoy my own. Yeah, company. but when no, people sorry. are like, I, now it's mine, Harlow's company. But <laughs> but I enjoy my company. Yeah, some I enjoy people be into myself. Yeah, some it's people will be like, you know, and yeah, I do. Well, I am alone. No, you're not, because you got to be at a happy hour. You got to be at a club. You got to be somewhere where it's popping. There's something going on. So you need that energy around you. Can you sit and read a book? Can you sit and watch a movie by yourself? Can you prepare a good meal for yourself? and sit in the presence of your own space and be comfortable with that. You're not trying to call somebody or text somebody what you do. You know? You it's like I'm comfortable in this. What what do I want to eat? You know, I'm gonna cook for myself tonight. Do I want to watch a movie? Do I want to try a new line? Do I want to read a book? Do I want to take up a new hobby? Do I want to watch an instructional video to learn how to do something? Do I want to go get a pedicure? Do I want to look at some possible new outfits or change up my wardrobe? That shit you do yeah. when you when you sell, you know. But I just think I don't always want to say this generation because it's it's something yeah. it's something in every generation. I just think that is not heavily pushed to yeah really focus on season, reason, lifetime, and that's both ways. Am I in your life for a season, reason, or lifetime? Or are you in my life for a season, reason, or lifetime? When I can identify, like, oh, this is definitely a reason I'm here. I'm here to help her in real quick, and I'm out of here. Then you give the assistance and you keep it moving because you've identified this is some other stuff and this is a pit stop for me. This is not permanent. You know, this is a labor of love. I'm here to labor, assist in this capacity, and I need to do it. Lifetime, like, oh, we, we share the same value system. Oh, wait a minute, we love one out. Oh, I stretch you, you stretch me. I'm your sharpest iron. Oh, wow, this this could be a season. Ooh, this is looking like some lifetime type stuff. We connected on more levels than, you know, than not. But, you know, it's just kind of like very matter of factly when people are kind of getting together and, you know, forming these situationships. And, I, and again, I don't know if that was like super spicy, yeah. but that's spicy for me because I think that people don't want to talk about the, you know, the the family, friends, or accountability. Like, why have I entertained this for so long? Ooh, if I can identify that in you, it's in me too because I'm still here. Mm-hmm. And me and you talk about that a lot because just with some situations that have gone on with me in the past couple of weeks where I'm like, I don't spend time on Zoom with people and just, you know, people not showing up for themselves and you show up for them and people wasting your time. It's like, I have to just reevaluate on a lot of things with a lot of people and like me, and you have to have the conversation. It's like, this is the season of it's just all about me. If it ain't got nothing to do with me, my business, me and you, what we got going on or Harlow, I'm sorry. Like, I just, I don't have time to entertain anything because I've seen the time wasters and I know I, I've come to realize that people ain't on the same time as me. Like I have a grand vision for my life and some people just don't they portray like they have this grand vision for what they're trying to do and they really don't you know you're comfortable making the money that you're making you don't you don't have that same grit as i do and i, think, and I, I just don't I have think time too, for it you know sometimes when you pull Not, back you know you pull the sheet back like you expose stuff i think sometimes there are people that don't even know they're operating like that and they can make some changes so i'm not saying write people off necessarily my belief is if you yeah. don't, you either don't know, and I'm going to put it just like I tell anybody, if you don't know or you don't give a fuck. If I tell you, if there's a line of communication open where I can say, yo, you know, you flake a lot. You know, um, I, I told you I was looking for a relationship and I'm giving you draws like this is very sexual. <laughs> I told you that it's important that I dedicate time to these goals I have and you constantly try to steal time for me in other areas. I told you that I want to be around people that are pushing themselves to be better and you operate at a real low level. I, you can tell people, but there's some people, it's not even worth my conversation because I've identified that's what they like. That's who they are. 
sometimes you don't even have to have that conversation. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, this is just who you are. And I'm not about to wrestle with you about changing who you are. That's just not my game. That's not how I work. So I'm going to go ahead and exit stage left because this was yeah. for a reason. You guys came through just to exemplify something today. That's another thing. People overstay. Sometimes my belief, because I y'all know I'm spiritual, God will put you in somebody's life to exemplify the level they're supposed to be operating on. You're supposed to move it on. You start sticking around, picking up some of their habits. Now you operate on a low level. And it's like, I didn't tell you to be here like that. I needed you to come through and exemplify. So they had something to strive for. You let them know you came and acclimated to what they got going on. What is this? So, yeah, you know, um, you probably that might not have been spicy. That's spicy for me. <laughs> well, I'm gonna read some of these comments real quick. Hold on, Milan. The people knew what they needed in life. Maybe they could recognize where a person sits in their life. And Josiah said, "Fat." Bart Arkansas Barbie said it's true. J. Lou said to Milan, people don't spend enough time by themselves to really analyze and lie to themselves. Um, or shall I say lie to themselves? <laughs> um and then Milan said true. So yeah, oh, this we is love that you guys are I love that it's each other in the might, comments too. I love like, that you guys are here because like, you might start up a conversation in there. And then you guys, this is Instagram. You might start following somebody else because you connected with them here. And, you know, you just never know. But you guys already know you have something in common. You're here at Sipping Live. Listen yep. to. Yeah, it's a, like, non-watered-down version of our right. mind. Because we're going to give it to you, you know, and, and raw and uncut. <laughs> or just the best way that we can so that hopefully it equips you with some capacity to just be better. And as I always say, if, it's, if it doesn't leave you right where you found it. But it's, it's something here um, that's applicable in your life. Yeah. Um, you know, I learned stuff reading the comments or, um, you know, something you say, Ella, it's like, oh, okay. You know, I might be like, oh, a different perspective or different insight or just hearing you know, somebody else's, you know, point of view, which is insight. So I think that yeah. once you kind of have an idea of where you're at and what you're, the level you're operating on. And when I say levels, people automatically think this. I don't think it really means that. I, I always say stuff like, you're a purple yeah. crayon and I'm green. You yeah. need to go back over there with the purple. You know what I'm saying? I think that's like a softer way of like, <laughs> No, and I feel like, like never I feel like some, ladder, that step in ladder. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like sometimes some people's definition of success is not yours. So I'm not here to pass judgment on you just want to do that with your life. No, but it doesn't, we don't serve what well together. You know, because it's not that I am not sharpening. I, you know, I require a different type of energy. And I know that that's going to, that could be a clashing, not a sharpening. You know, it's just not, it's not a good fit. And I think that. People would have more peace in their lives if they would kind of have these this understanding initially in the beginning, like, oh, this is who I am. I have a great understanding of who I am. And I might not mesh well with this type of person because of who I am. Them going and knowing, you know, that either they don't or they don't know fully who they are, they figuring it out. And it's all the splashing happening because they figuring stuff out in friendship, in relationship, in, in these titles. You know, I find that you can clash with, um, with, you know, I say in family, I mentioned mother earlier. As you grow into an individual, you love your parents. But I do believe there's a point in time when you are responsible enough, you still can learn from them, but you start kind of learning, like kind of living your own life and your own truth and kind of, you know, navigating and, and, you know, growing your perspective. And that's not disrespecting your parent because they have their ways and they have, and understanding what they will and won't accept. That doesn't necessarily mean that works for you. And that's not compromising your integrity, you know, your morals. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying to disrespect your parent. What I'm saying is, as you come into self 
and you have a better understanding of you as an individual, there may be some clashing because you might realize that your parent has a vision for you and what you need to be doing and what your friend needs to be like and who you need to be dating and so on and so forth, and that don't work for you. So now it's a clashing, and it can be like, you're being disrespectful, but I'm not. This is my life. And this is what I choose to entertain, and this is who I am, and this is, you know, what I want. And it doesn't mean that I don't love you and respect you as my mother, but as long as I'm paying my bills, breathing, not being disrespectful and flourishing, I can make these choices because they work for me. They're empowering for me. This is happiness for me. You know? Mm -hmm. that, uh, that's, that's all I can say about that topic. We roll with them pretty quickly this time. We are. We this is this that's what I say. Like, find something in your bowl. It feels like a very serious. Dig in a spicy bowl. You must have something over there spicy. I'm gonna get up in the Are you guys? Bowl. Are you guys feeling the time? But it's good that we get a little serious, so serious sometimes. It's serious truth and just like I'm just. Yeah, how are y'all feeling tonight? I know it's feeling a little more mellow than usual, but it's still, it's sipping like you never know what we're going to dish out, but these conversations <laughs> need to be had. But you know Milan what? Said, Milan real fabulous. Fabulous. We're so taking over cool here. If you're able, I hope that you're able to take this stuff and you're equipped with it and you can implement it now, it'll save you so much time. I'm, I'm going into the, the 50s, you know, I want to equip anybody with information. If you can do it faster, get it better than than me. I'm happy for you because you're going to be better and you're going to do it quicker. You know, in a shorter amount of time. So, me, you know, some it's got to be like that. We we laugh, we don't drink, we got yeah. the time. But I want you guys to be like empowered. It's yeah, inspired, impactful. We have an impactful, leave with you know, some inspirational, you know? empowering conversations where you leave from here like, y'all, I'm not playing with you. You that was a that was a season. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Arkansas Barbie said. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that you are like, during the week. You know, some people yeah, just don't make the cut. They're not even there for a season, reason, lifetime. It's a minute. <laughs> you, you don't even fit the mold to, to go into either of those. So keep it pushing. And I, and I strongly suggest that for relationship. Because now you're talking about a partner. Man, if you don't get out of here wasting my freaking time, it's crazy. I'm glad Jay said good balance. Yeah, no, it's crazy. What you got in that spicy bowl? I hope you got something, something real good. Yeah, it's um, so I have I don't want to talk about this because it's going to get us into I mean, it is spicy though. And it could make me go on a little rant. Fuck it, I'm going to just say it. So, this one It's not letting life circumstances find you are serious. accountable for. <laughs> it's serious, but I could go on a rant about this because I know so many people like on some real shit. It's just like whatever you're not changing, you're choosing. First off, so. You can't use, oh, I grew up this way or I this and this happened to me for the reason your life is the way it is. Hell, I can give you a, a, a list of things from my childhood and I never let that define who I was or determine the direction of my life. But you have so you have a good number of people who are out here using those excuses oh my mom was on drugs oh we were in the streets oh this shit me and my sister and my mom lived in a motherfucking two um door camaro at one point as a kid lived in a shelter as a kid my grandma raised us you know what i'm saying 
and I could be here like selling my ass on the corner and giving all these reasons of why I am not great. And I do not use those excuses to not be where I want to be in life. And there are a good number of people that use those, their life circumstances as a crutch to say, well, I can do better in life because of this and because of that. And it's like, mm, but could you have? You know what I'm saying? Like, could you really have if you really put your mind to it? And I know it's about mindset, but still, whatever you're not changing, you're choosing. So if you choose to continue to be in that life that you've seen people before you, you've seen it not work out for them, when does it click for you to do better in your life? Because I could definitely not be where I am in life and I could be shit getting section A, getting the county check, getting some EBT shit. I want EBT. They deny my ass. I can use EBT with a place oh, no. right now. They <laughs> deny my ass. Okay. Y'all out. I'm sorry, but these people, these people on EBT and section A and stuff, they living better <laughs> than me and I got a salary paycheck coming in. I can't with you right now. <laughs> it's spicy. You know how I want to do? I want to Is that spicy like, for you, Barry? Mix it up a little bit. Does anybody have a spicy topic in the in the live that you'd like for us to speak about? Give us, you can give us something. Yeah, y'all give us a topic. I just got hot. I just had a hot flash. Yeah, I'm thinking about it because groceries are high and I need some EBT. That you want us to discuss. The first one that comes up, we'll discuss it. What it, uh, J. Lou said, most don't want to change or lack the will, and it feels good to be ignorant because it's bliss and it's escape goat facts. Is there a spicy top? Anybody have a top? <laughs> okay, good. Y'all got a topic? Come on, y'all be engaged and give us a topic. We, we doing something off the wall. We doing something different this Sunday. You know what's crazy? We talk. We'll get I mean, we have some fun here, stuff, but I got something in my bowl. Probably like I have me a poll, but we talked about this before about that chocolate butter. While you guys are, this is not a topic. Right. It's so, oh, it's so crazy. I like I want to know why people I love you some certain sexual acts the name that they name them because there is a such thing as chocolate butter and. When you read the definition of what it means sexually, there's yeah, nothing it's delectable, it's delicious. I'm a foodie about that. I don't want to eat that. You know what they call oh, it? Chocolate bar. And I was like, why did you do that? Why did you call it? Can we, can we make it to where um, we make these names a little less like food inviting? <laughs> I know, right? Because it's like after you hear in the the definition of truffle butter, it's that's disgusting. Go I don't want no kid like coming in before and I'm thinking about it in my head. Like, Do you, you know, because I enjoy a good truffle. I enjoy some truffle pizza. My favorite chips are truffle. Um, this is wild. Truffle something chips from Trader Joe's. That's wild. You know what I mean? I, Arkansas I Barbie said, friend. would you ever go to can Well, that's a question. So, would you ever go to like, Candy Sex Dungeon? I don't even know what that is. I can't look it up because my phone. Candy Burris from the Real Housewives of well, Atlanta. What did you, and I what did you say about title. her right now? What did you say? What she's an amazing song. What title did written. you? You said you hate to give her that title. What do you huh? mean? Yeah, I don't know I'm saying you said you hate to hear that title. title from Escape. Like, I hate uh -huh. the of Atlanta, but she's so more than that, so I hate the Escape so from Real Housewives of Atlanta, but most people know her from that now, especially whereas we 
coming from our generation, the word from escape, and she's written for so no, many I know people. Who it is. Beyonce, I know who she is. Usher, like, but what's the candy she's got that she's like? And just so you know, Josiah Black. submitted a question. So, next toy is like Amon sells makeup. She has made millions off of selling sex toys. No. So she has like I guess. Well, I can answer that. I wouldn't. I'm not about gym, to. So I guess she has like a building your enterprise uh, off of that. No, I'm good. What Josiah submitted a question in Lucy. I yeah, with the earthquake. I yeah. Thoughts on IG couples where the girl stays and revealing things after getting in relationships. So you mean like she was in her thoughty wear prior no, to the relationship, thought... and then she gets in a relationship <laughs> and still that... in her thoughty wear? Is that what you mean? Oh, no. On IG couples, you, you did T H O. <laughs> no, he wants to know our thoughts on IG couples where the girl stays and revealing things after getting in relationship. Um, I think I think you set yourself up for um failure in some of those. If you guys are getting money that way, and I'm not talking about like shaking your ass, I'm talking about if you guys are that's how you started, and you guys both agreed that. We're going to share a portion of our lives with people. But but I feel like, because I just saw a couple today where like she had a thong on, she was shaking her butt, and he was like rising on it, and they were doing like a little dance step. I just feel like as long as you understand the the you know the portion of the relate relationship you're gonna reveal, you need to keep something to yourself. So if you're like we want to go, we're going to do dance reels, we're going to yeah. do, you know, cooking stuff or share, like, our date nights. You know, you guys can decide on what's sharing, but at some point, it's like TMI. It's not even real to me at that point, because I'm like, how are you guys functioning in a relationship when we're seeing everything that you do? How do you, how does it sustain? Like, I know more stuff yeah. about your relationship, and I'm assessing it, and I'm seeing it's going nowhere fast, probably before you do. Because you're filming, I'm watching. You know, so my thoughts on that. Um, yeah. If if it if it pointing by James and if it works, I just think that you guys have to agree upon the the intention of why you're doing it. If it's fun and and what part you you're gonna keep for yourself. I would keep some stuff for myself. Like this part is sacred. This is the yeah. part that Graham doesn't need to see. This is the part that this is ours. But we do VN steps on there, we do cooking videos with them, and we have some transparency sometimes about some bumps in the road. You know, we share every now and then, but um I'm not all for that, like turn the camera on every time we at dinner, turn the camera on and be like you wake up church, it's like cut it out. But that's the society we're in right now, unfortunately, like it is turn the camera on for everything mm. that's how motherfuckers end up being robbed or shot exactly it's like y'all don't say nothing for yourself during a relationship and then you don't leave anything for the imagination like y'all be having your location on just every just share too much like you don't have to let everyone know how much money you have all the jewelry you have and just things like that because that warrants and attracts like the bad the bad energy you, you got people you don't know who's watching your every move you know what I'm saying you don't know who hold on there's another <laughs> question oh Josiah got a follow up question what do you suggest to those women who have built their entire brand around that and are actually trans Forming well, they need, well, I would suggest transparency. Like, hey, you you got to grab it by the, take the bull by the, by the horns. You need to come on and make a general announcement to the people that have seen that portion of your trans, your life and that you're transitioning. You need to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, and say, hey, this is where I'm at. What is, this is not, you know, I'm taking my brand to a different level. You know, I know that you guys know me as ass shaking 
you know, uh, titty popping, um, drop it like it's low, or my dude and I share any and everything. Right there, because those women who are dropping it like it's low, because I, I, I don't know this person per personally. I've met a person and her whole page half naked shaking her ass and everything you go look at because i have a tendency to look at people's pages and go look in the comments you know what i'm saying and you got all these men who are really your followers rarely any females and now all of a sudden you want to say oh i want to say yeah i think people I just act like that didn't know, happen i, I agree josiah just said it like josiah said it when you were talking he said like a band-aid, rip it off. Yeah, own your truth. Be transparent on it. Bring it to the forefront. Y'all know I was dropping it like it was low, shaking my ass yep. every week or, um, you know. Well, Milan, you said make a new IG profile, but I don't like people coming up with something. I like to tell the story first. I just say, you make another one, but people are good. They investigate and it is a small world. They'll be done. Did y'all know that the eyelash girl is really Drop it like it's hot, Judy over here. They the same person. I don't need you telling on me. I need to, you know what I'm saying, to control the narrative. Yeah. Either they right. want to stay yeah. and start it's telling okay. the last it's like, you trying to be a better person, or they going to leave. You just have to work. Yeah, you can just you can just be transparent. I think whoever rocked with you, if they was there for the ass popping and you're not popping it no more, then you just got to lose them. I mean, it is what it is. But if you're selling eyelashes now, you there for the eyelash folks. So yeah. you need to make sure they know that's what your focal point is. That's what you're going to see the majority of my content be. And I won't be dropping like it's hot anymore. You know, I won't. Yeah. I mean, if you were dropping like it's hot and throwing <laughs> some eyelashes in between no, this whole no. thing, it's different. But you, you can just drop like it's hot to get that engagement and then followers. To you try to get the Fashion Nova think, brand deals, but you wasn't doing I that. Think, you wasn't getting the Fashion Nova deals. <laughs> you said if you're dropping it, but you're throwing eyelashes in there. I think that if you're doing a whole new brand, well, yeah, but if right, drop it, but if you're doing a whole new brand, then they're not doing that. But I mean, if they still want to. Well, she be dropping like it's hot with her eyelashes. I um, I actually pulled a topic from my spicy bowl. You said you wanted yeah. to be spicy. Damn, here, so I literally um, wrong. <laughs> I really want to. I feel like I want to talk about. You know, this is random. I just feel like it's always highlighted about about side chicks, but I don't think people know that there's so what. Oh, wait, can I say something real quick? <laughs> you so you know the owner because you're saying side chicks. The one of the founders of Fubu, uh, Jay Martin. Well, you know, Fubu has Fubu suits, Fubu TV, all that stuff. So FUBU TV, they got the side chicks of Charlotte that just released or and they or it already released and then they got the side chicks of LA coming out now too. And I saw a couple years ago about side chicks of Charlotte, but no one had picked it up. FUBU TV picked it up. They got a whole reality show, side chicks of Charlotte and then side chicks of LA. Just to throw that in here before you even get into the whole side chick thing. Because there was some shit on social media yesterday about the side chicks. Um, well, or something that um, own, I just was feel saying. like, go ahead. Um, I know it's a topic in my bowl, but I just was feeling like, wow, that's interesting. Like, you, they empower the side chicks so much. And also, they negate the fact that they are side men. I call them a mantras. Yeah, they're they're a mantras in full effect. You can have a mantras, mantras in your life. Yes. He comes and lays the pipe and he goes on. Um, some men don't even know that they're a mantras. They they think that they got a whole like side chick, but she's not. You're you're the mantras. So um I just 
you know, I always look at that because I laugh. Like, some dudes don't know. They always, like, putting the light on side chicks. You a mantras. Like, your job is to lay pipe and leave. I don't cook for you. I don't do anything extra that a woman can can give in that capacity. Because we are nurturers, naturally. We can give a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think that they really kind of yep. like I'm not don't nothing. highlight some women are cold cap- calculating and got about three or four mantras in rotation. And you really be thinking like, I'm over here. I'm getting it. And it should be like, you are a part of the mantras equation. Yeah, I got three, four y'all in rotation. You know what I'm saying? One, like, five. You didn't know? You know, and yeah, if a woman is hitting you and shit, I think so after, if a woman, after you didn't know. I didn't even got to for this. You. My topic I was how do you know? I don't want you to say thirty minutes. Just go. Go. And I think that we need to start bringing that. Like we need to take shed the light on this and start letting people know. Like I think we need to give them the game. Like you're a mantras, yo. You're not just going like dudes to be like yeah. I be laying pipe. It's like no, dude. If a woman don't cook for you. You a mantis. If a woman doesn't let you stay the night, no. I'm just, but that's what I'm gonna give the game. I mean, we only got like no one there. They are so. Josiah is in this live, and, and J. Lewis, and you know, you know, they can share. These are five things to know, like five things for my things to know that you're a mantis. And L, you can piggyback off this. So. I feel like I feel like we heavily equip women to you don't give up the draws, you don't do this. He has to he has all these requirements as a man. But I feel like having a son, we don't equip the males to know, hey, there's value in you too. You don't be nobody's mantras. Just like you would tell your daughter, don't be nobody's side chick, you don't be nobody's mantras. You know, so these are things to to like kind of think about and identify if you're a mantress and you didn't know you are, or you might be being groomed to be a mantress and you don't know it. Number one, if she don't if she don't hang out with you nowhere else yeah. except one. the bedroom, she doesn't call you except What's for the bedroom? hey, I need you to come give me that right. wood. That's the first step. She doesn't desire to have any conversation with you outside of sexual things. You don't know nothing about, yeah, you don't know nothing about her passion, her design. You're a man. You don't know if she got kids, she got family. <laughs> you might not even know where she lives because she might be having you get her out of a hotel room or the back of her car. You're a man. If she, if she doesn't, the second one is, if she don't eat you, Number two. nobody has sex and they don't eat. A woman will, will care for you. We are nurturers. And she don't offer you a sandwich and you just broke your back off into her. Like Jamie said, I'm going to my back off into you. You a mantress. And you come over and you can't even shower. She's asking you, you know, hey, I got to get up early in the morning. You know, were you going to head out? You don't take a sheet. She don't say, I got some towels for you. You know, you can shower. I'll put some oil on your body. Are you hungry? No nurturing questions. You laid this pipe. You need to shake the spot. You mantras. She'd be right, like, get right. the pipe, and she'd be like, okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow. So I'll, 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 I'll right. pick you up. I gotta go if she I doesn't go all, uh, answer early any text or calls unless it's after nine, it's got to be late because she understands that's a booty call. She doesn't talk to you any other time. Like, you cannot catch this girl. You haven't heard from her for weeks, and she'll hit you up and be like, Oh, I was traveling. I was thinking about you. you Want to come over? And it's 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock. You know, but it's never like, What you been up to? What you got going on? You know, what you, yeah, what you been getting to? You a mantis. I'm on three now, I think. Is that three or four? Okay, the fourth one is that was three. I think yeah. The fourth, the fourth one is I you can, can never discuss a relationship with her. She makes sure she emphasizes she's she's not looking for one. 
she will keep saying, I'm just having fun. I'm not really looking for anything serious. You don't ever have to worry about me pestering you want to be in a relationship. You know, it's very casual with us. I'm not going to pester you. She reassures you there is no attachment. She wants nothing from you but the pipe. You match us. Right. And number five, if you start to catch feelings and mention to her, like, yo, you know, I was thinking, you know, what, what's been going on? And she's like, you're, you're getting way too serious. Like, I'm just like, I don't even know where this came from. I'm not trying to mislead you. And then she ghosts your ass. You were a mantis. Now you were, because you're not, because she probably got the other three coming in in rotation. Those are five things I think that men need to be equipped with understanding. It's not just side, tr tr uh, side chicks, it's mantis of full effect. That women are calculated. They are out here with mantras in rotation, mantras on deck, and men are getting used just like the side chicks, and they don't know it. And I feel like emotion is displaced later on, and that's why you get these dudes out there to be on some he man woman hater shit. They really be mad of at women because their emotions are displaced. They thought they was out there laying big pipe, and that was really laying it down, and they get attached. And they feel in some type of way when they're discarded or mistreated because they're a mantras. They want to be treated like how a woman's like, I want to be the wife, but you decide shit. I want to have the option. I think men want to feel like, men need to feel needed. I think they want to feel like, I could have been her dude, but I didn't want to be. Yeah, yeah but when a woman draws the I line, do I feel need never for your woods. I didn't never offer you the opportunity. I don't want to do. They start feeling some type of way like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you talking about? And so when they're hurt, that's when they go on some, like, um, the little rascals, the he man woman haters. Now they're like, I'm breaking everybody's back on. Oh, that's your man. That's the um, escapades at a hotel, not your house. Like, I'm hitting her in the back of the car. Cause you thought women was crazy. No, I'm they laughing. Crazy. They'll pop up on the grill, in her car, stop her shit. In the back of her car, we over in these little spots. I'm like, ooh, you never seen her house? You a mattress and don't even know it. But hold on, we gotta get over there. We gotta get into these comments. Cause hold on, let me go down. Hold on, cause they loving this mattress name. <laughs> No steak and potatoes, only the door. J. Lou said, men don't realize it because they're okay with it until they realize they're being used as holes. Arkansas Barbie said, no hot towel or rag, you gotta go. J. Lou said, and quiet as it's kept, that's okay. they are okay being a male hoe. He said, men don't view that as a bad thing, unfortunately. Uh, Milan said, "What is a mantra? What if the mantras cut catches feelings? You gotta just cut <laughs> him off. He can't be your mantra no more. Trust me. I've had some mantrases, and I have to cut people off in my day. I'm gonna just say, oh, wait, I have wait. to cut a few people off. You know what? It, it, it just Hell, you made me. Is. You know, they you made me remember because you said what you had. Your phone up. If, if she's it meeting is. you at your spot all the time, that's another sign you're a mantras because you be thinking like or a dude. A dude will be like." She come and give me them drugs. Yeah, because you ain't never seen her. Like, it's like, yeah, it's very convenient for her. It's very convenient. She comes to her Not house. Knowing. She gets right. what she needs, and she does. She don't want to deal with nothing. <laughs> and she's <laughs> really. And you don't even know where I live. <laughs> I've had a few mantresses in my 20s. Time I'll out. just say that. In my 30s, I was a yeah. whole new Did person, you hear what but you in said? my 20s, that's what I'm I saying. Y'all gonna stop playing she said in her 20s. There are a lot of men that underestimate how calculated women are and how they play in this game too. And I feel like, like I said, having a son, you ain't gonna do you're not about to do him any old kind of way. And I feel like the men need to be equipped to really be in the fight. Like if you want to accept the title of mattress, then do it. But understand what you are. I don't even think they know it's a game going on. 
Yeah, you don't even know. That's what I'm saying. You like, ain't you know even no cover. Like, 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 that's a whole other topic. Like, you laying pipe and you not even get paid. You're not even a gigolo. And I'm not. Let me preface because we want to empower people here. This is empowering, but I'm not saying to go and get broke off. I'm not. I'm not pushing that. What I'm saying is that. But if you well, do I will say sugar sugar women off, are taught you differently. They're taught to keep your panties up and your dress down. Don't give them none, girl. Make them work for it. He needs to wine you and dine you and love you. You are worth it. Men are worth it, too. And what I'm saying is don't just carelessly give the dick away. Don't do it. It's worth it. She'll work for it. She'll pay. What is more saying? I got that PlayStation with it. What's your line? They will they will pay to play. So if you're going in the game ill-equipped, I'm here to let you know mm -hmm. it's some value to your penis, okay? There is value to the penis, just like they teach women. They always want to keep saying with women, man, you guys got this. You could throw this around everybody. You can too. You can be select about who you lay that pipe to. And if it's good, if it's good, you can be. You can digitize the word. Listen. There, I know some di women digmatized. I'd be like, they all be all, be all me, for it. He ain't got shit else. They be but like, girl, I it. don't care. He can have my debit card, my car. I bought him some. The new Jays is coming out. I need the pipe. Like, they, they're with it. So not, all I'm not, saying, not. I'm not. No, that's us. That good. But what I'm saying is they will equip card, women to card. work that. And I'm not, I think it's whack on both sides. You don't need to be working your body because that plays itself yeah. out. But I want men to know this some mattresses running around here and they don't know it. And also there's value in your penis. You do not need to just be giving it away. Be select about who you lay that pipe to. Yeah. You know, she got to earn that. Don't just do it. Be, have some discipline. You know, have some discipline. They, they, you know, they make it like men are so stupid or they have no control. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Control who you giving that pipe to. Be like, no, I ain't giving it. I was going to give it to you, but you ain't acting right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to hold out a little bit longer. I'm going to get I'm, I'm think about it. Yeah, I might think about giving it to make you next Make your stand, because she'll come crying afterwards. Yeah, but she'll be like, good enough girl, for her, she gonna be he like, must be gay. No, I'm not. I'm Are just going to make you work for this. You tell them like they teach us. Yep. Or you going to put they, on they the They tell like women this. I think men that men are being kept out the loop. I'm going to empower these young men. I have a son. And I feel like, hey, you worth it. If she can tell you, um, I'm not, I'm not putting out like that. You gonna have to work for it. You tell her you gonna have to work for it, cause I ain't putting out either. Maybe she needs to create a mantras collective hey. where we are really advocating for the mantras out there, so they know that we got the cap. I just feel like we there's some the women, but we young the men that. Too have been running around and being they they are mantras and don't know it and they're confused when they find out they are and i just feel like we need to equip them to be better prepared to make a decision you need to be like oh that's what this is you know and nothing more because you'll be used misused abused thrown away not nurture every women are nurturers you can get something from us because they're gonna get something from you they're going to get something from you. They're taught to get something from you. Mm -hmm. So you need to get something from them. And it's not misuse. We're going to utilize each other. But if you're going to be slinging that wood everywhere, you need to understand what the nature of the relationship is. You are a mantra. If you meet those five things I said, that's what you are. And if you didn't know, now you know, and you need to make your demands. Like, oh, And you need to talk to me and Paris so we can school y'all mantresses so we can help y'all navigate. So you don't got to be a mantress if you don't want to. Uh, but you know find I ways think, for you to get paid. I think men. We, we be on here for two and a half hours. It ain't even been two hours yet. 
this that's the crazy thing it's never done this before it is never this is crazy it has never done this on purpose because you said all that about shit you. fuck them <laughs> fuck them fuck instagram shit we going to we about to be on um youtube and tiktok fuck they asses this has never ever happened before like ever ever it's crazy because this is our fifth live too yeah it's never clicked off ever this is the second time it's clicked off yeah on us j, j lou wow right instagram is with the shits tonight this is twice already it's never clicked off on us and this is our fifth episode it has never clicked off on us at all instagram is with the motherfucking shits that's okay we about the that's okay just watch just watch that is crazy let me invite wild i'm requesting you vera yo yo this is two times instagrams with the shits tonight this has never happened our fifth episode instagram want to be with the shits <laughs> you know i'm gonna hit up instagram support when we get off though right you know i know you want instagram support when we get off right i i i know you want to i'm laughing because i think they didn't want us giving those men that type of game and look i love you guys all for joining back with us in these um it's not even our technical difficulty. Instagram don't want us to win. Zuckerberg, yeah. MC voice, come on, man. <laughs> no, but what I think when it cut off, I just feel like the men should be empowered and have the option to make the decisions. To be a mantress, like a woman can make a decision to be a side chick. Yeah. I just think they don't even know they're operating in that yeah. like that they're mantras i think women know you know like not everybody but i think some women know like yeah bro i'm a spy chick i knew he had a wife but he took care of me and all that and all i'm saying is for men i i look seriously i feel like the emotion is displaced when they realize they've been used and discarded and that's when they go on the he been a woman haters i don't know why i'm feeling it but they be on some like I'm 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 about to tear up every woman I can. I'm about to I'm a dog them because they didn't know what was happening. They didn't know. Yeah. And I think if they're empowered, I think they really you know men are told to sow their oats. You know women are told to keep your panties up, and you know you a hoe if you out there having sex with a bunch of people. But I think it's we're not gonna do this gender based. He a hoe too. You know, um, Nick Cannon out there sowing his oats in many ways. Oh my gosh, Lord, I don't even. That Ooh. was one of the topics of my bowl. He out there sowing his oats and here, 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 here. I don't even know. At at some point, you cannot effectively parent with all those freaking kids. It's just you. You can't. You don't even want to. Why are you? Why are you putting that type of weight on your back to have to go and? Be with this one, and these are what this is. You're what not the, giving your your kids needs all your time. How can they develop properly and enjoy a fulfilled life with both parents when you got 15 other kids that you got to split 365 days of the year with? Like just showing up for your birthday, that ain't shit. Just showing up for Christmas, fuck the Christmas. I need you just to show up to wake, be right there in the morning when I wake up. Can I just say something? These lives feel like I'm at a happy hour and it's just like, oh, like this is like going out. This is fun. And it's safe, you guys. It is. You it don't is. have to leave the comfort of your home. This is like Sunday happy hour uh -huh. and you know, we want to acknowledge the comments. It's such a good, I mean, I really enjoy it. Like, I'm, you know, on my rant with the mantras and stuff, but I hope that that, if it, for the fellas that are in here, we know we got J. Lou and we got Josiah. Tell your, tell your friends and tell their friends. Yeah. Don't, don't be, mantras. yeah, or don't be a mantras and not know it. You got options. Yeah. 
I don't support mantras or side chicks for the record. I support you, you know, knowing what you want. Because I think people are okay with what they can get. Yeah. And then when they can't, that's when you see the shit at the tabloids where it's like, she revealed she was a side chick and she told his wife and all. Because people are upset because everybody wants to be number one. Nobody wants to be number two. Yeah. They might be men saying I'll be number two, but in their mind, it's like, I'm going to win them over to make me number one. Yeah. Nobody comes in wanting to be. That's like you start in a track race, like, oh, I'm about to burn it. I'm about to be number two. Yo, like out the gate. Oh, I want to be number two. Like, nobody comes in saying that. So I'm just doing my best. That was in my bowl to equip males with having an understanding that it's just not the side chicks out here my name you there are mantises in full effect out here and they lay in pipe and are not paid for their services not just financially but time and all that yeah and you were getting emotionally raped you were like getting and i'm saying raped because you don't even know what's going on you they are stealing from you and you can feel some type of way later on and you're gonna be mad you're gonna be mad because you have these displaced feelings and it's like, man, I'm, 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 you know what? Fuck it. I'll fuck all the girls. I'm about to go out and lay in this pipe and fuck all of them. And it's like, no, you don't really feel like that. You feel like that because you didn't know what you were operating under. Yeah. You know, she told you one thing and now she's telling you she got a man. Because that's the other thing. When they notify you that they're in a serious relationship. Yeah. It is wild. A side chick never notifies a man that she's not the side chick anymore. She knows her place. She just um, transitions. A mantras knows a, a woman will be like, yo, um, just to let you know, you know, we're not gonna be meeting up no more because I got a man now, you know, I'm getting serious. She because and that's that's when it's identified what you are. And I think that's where the dude is like, we ain't even cool no more though. Like what? And that's when the reveal happens. It's like, no, you were a piece of meat. I was using you. And women don't get treated that way. Women understand up front, like, there's value to my vagina. You you gonna take me out. You gonna, you gonna treat me well. And if you got a wife, this is what it's gonna be. You're not about to just be, you know, running up at me and, and, not, and I'm not gonna get something out of it. They're taught that. And again, I don't agree with any of it. But men are not taught, like, you have value. Yeah. Value to your penis. We can't even have a baby without you giving us the other piece. You determine the sex of the baby. There's power. I think if men were more empowered to what they really possess, the young men, they would, you know, have a little bit more, you know what I'm saying, like selectiveness about, I'm not giving you this dick. You yeah. not worthy. Yeah. You know, I'm not giving you this. You're not worthy. You know, so that's that's my spicy mantras thing. I couldn't really see any comments, but um, yeah, um, that's my thoughts on it. You just you know think about those five things. If you are a mantras, you got options. And if you are a mantras, come talk to us. We are your <laughs> support group. If you know mantrases, they can come talk to us. We might have a consulting fee, but we will talk to you. <laughs> I think a mantras that wants to stay there needs to upgrade to a gigolo. Yeah. At least if you want to stay there, you need to keep yourself together because you you lay in wood. Like there's energy being changed. You got travel, mm -hmm. you know. No, they say mind. you're not even supposed to ejaculate. You know what I'm saying? That wears it like I'll send you a link, but like spiritually and stuff, like ejaculating really takes the energy like men are supposed to i forgot the term they use but they're supposed to hold it in you're supposed to be able to have sexual <clears throat> intercourse and hold in your ejaculation i'm gonna send you a link about it i'm gonna send you a link what yeah because when you're ejaculating you're letting out too much of your energy too much of like it's it's this whole thing i'm gonna so send what's you the link and we can talk about it next week. week are they saying you're supposed to please her and not go so that you don't get oh, that shit in. It shows uh, a level of just discipline. Uh, discipline. Yeah. But it's I'm gonna send you the link. I'm gonna go pull it up. And it's actually in one of the books I have. 
Okay, L, but what does it do? L, what does it do for them, though? What is it trying to teach them? I don't want to say the wrong thing. But okay. Not only discipline, but it's something about the energy that you're putting out. Like, like what I was reading, it's like you're not meant to let out, let it out. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to hold it in. And I don't want to, I'm speaking so broadly because I don't want to say it incorrectly. But <clears throat> I'm a pull, I have the book and I've watched many lives and have read on this. And it's something that 21 Keys would probably cover on one of his things. Oh, you said 19 keys. Yeah, 21. You put 21 Savage with 19 keys. Wow. But no, I'm going to look it up and I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to send it to you and we will talk about it next week. Josiah's oh, Arkansas Barnes, so that's why women have energy after sex and men are tired. And yeah, and my mom said, energy and stuff mm -hmm. too, but it, it, it's even deeper than that. And I don't want to misspeak because I want to be correct in what I'm saying, but I have the book because I have bought, you know, I was doing the Sacred Woman, Queen of Fool of Womb Healing, and then I bought mm -hmm. Hugh, the book of her son that she wrote with her son about just men being healthier, even more plant-based and stuff, and it even goes into that. And if you Google I, it on YouTube... I heard yeah, something about that. I heard something about that really wild. Well, I'm going to answer Milan. Milan, I came up with the term mantras. That's not something I made that yeah, up. Yeah, TM, motherfuckers, TM. It's already trademarked. Yeah, I came up with mantras. But I heard that if a man, a man's sperm, when he ejaculates, the nutrients in it, if he's eating well, can replenish a woman. Like if she eats it and it's for her skin, everything. But they said a man with a poor diet, it's, there are no benefits to it. But think about it. I was like, wow, that's crazy because that in itself are children. Those are children that, that are a part of that. So I wouldn't doubt it. But if a man's diet is poor, um, it's not the same benefits. And also, oh, you know, J, J, Josiah, it equals seven days of work for a man when he ejaculates. It's seven days of work. I read that. Um, but men so casually, I don't think they really understand. I think they were just taught that um, you go sow your oats, hit whatever you can, knock it down. You a man, that's what men do. And I'm here to tell you there's value in the penis. No, you don't. I think y'all need to take on a couple of things that we teach the women and you'll feel a lot better. You'll feel more valued and empowered. You know? So it's supposed to reduce stress and anxiety. Um, let's see. There's overall happiness and satisfaction in their lives. There's physical benefits. But no, I got to get more into thicker hair, increase muscle growth, increase energy level, and improve sperm quality. What, what improves sperm quality? What are you reading? I'm on this website, but this isn't I don't know. I think these are white people writing this because I be reading from the black folks. You know? Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm going a, I'm to a pull up some stuff and because I found a little thing on YouTube. I mean, on Instagram. I don't know if they're going to let us live next week, but I'm going to try to upload some videos and stuff so y'all can see. But I definitely would love to get more into this topic um, next week since we was talking about mattresses and shit like that. Well, I think that was spicy enough for the whole live. <laughs> the mattress thing, right? Man, look, if you didn't know, you know somebody that's a mattress. Mm -hmm. If I it ain't you, for the men in the live and females, you might have been like, oh, I didn't know he was a mattress to me. <laughs> you remember that he was just coming to like lay it down real quick and no, mantras. you are the side chick type thing. You got a mantras. You done knighted this dude a mantras and he don't know it and you just been getting wood and you felt like, you know, I don't even want to give him these things because he's a mantras to you. Yep. That is too funny. I am. So, I guess on that note, we gave we gave y'all a lot today. I know it seemed a little low and somber in the beginning, but you know, we came with some spicy 
and um you know you just never know what you're going to get with us week to week and we appreciate you guys supporting us each week this is our fifth episode and we definitely appreciate you guys logging back on with us since um instagram didn't want to let us live that's probably because i'm going on my rants about them but you know who cares yeah, or, <laughs> no, cause they need to know because they Hell, need to know. You have it you gotta have us prepare for another platform. You be going we, in on we gonna go on TikTok. You know people be on live on TikTok for eight, ten hours at a time. I don't know how they I have a question. What about YouTube Live? Yeah, we need to try out YouTube Live. I have an iPad. I will go on live YouTube. I'll be on my iPhone and we will just we will try it out wherever I have a question. is it is it can i do it from my phone we'll talk about this but, um, i'll know. have to see because i because i do have a youtube app um but i'll definitely check it out and guys because of these difficulties and some of the amazing things we have going on in 2023 i definitely want us to create a um a questionnaire to see like if we did switch platforms with y'all follower where would you guys feel comfortable going? Because if Instagram is going to be not letting, I'm going to just say not letting us live and we have to switch to TikTok or YouTube or AirMeet, you know, how comfortable would you guys be? AirMeet is, um, it's a different what app. You, you can go have full on conferences on this um, platform. So I did a, with Mogul Millennial, I was in a whole pitch like conference with them and you can be on the app for free and you can have like conferences and we can have other people join in and stuff so you know i think after tonight we'll definitely create a questionnaire to see where you guys at are at and to just kind of get an idea so you guys know what we've got going on in 2023 because we've got some amazing things coming for y'all um so yeah but and i'm excited i'm just saying that i'm super excited so you know we appreciate you guys tuning in every single week with us and we appreciate you guys like engaging with each other in the comments and stuff like how you know, we're a community if they can do by a show of hands i don't know how informative was this one because we yeah, went how informative give me some hands <laughs> Or something. Give me something. Those are I hope that, push fingers. I hope that you walked away with um, some new information or insight or understanding or something that's applicable to your, you know, life. That's the goal. Yes. That look good, Bear. And I know it's late, but I might eat a little bit of spaghetti for my go before I go to bed. I might have to drink a little tea. Milan, everyone's we the plug, we the plug. They're saying one hundred. Yeah. Stay with us. I love it. Yes. Do something. If you can have just, if I can just help one person. Yeah. I'm happy. If I can equip with just one person, so we were six deep, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight tonight, and I'm excited about that. Yeah. Cause I even we there. leave here with something new ourselves even though we're talking about the topics it's just like we are leaving inspired or more informed well you've never heard me talk about a mantras before and i make sure before we go we hit any just check the top comments real quick l to make sure we didn't miss anybody's questions and stuff because it's manageable now but one day it won't be we yep. don't have to um men give the energy women take it it was an indian man that talked about that j lu said about the sperm retention so you know j lu i'm going to pull up a few articles i'll send to y'all um about it uh, yep ironically kevin gate practices that he does josiah that's one of the links this is that what popped up but he speaks about it a lot kevin gates dick on your know, stomach no he, speaks about what semen retention kevin gates Dick all in your stomach? Dick all in your stomach? Well, I, I know who he yeah. is, but we're talking about he speaks about dick all in your stomach or he retention? about semen retention, what I was telling you about, because he he fasts 20 hours out the day, so he eats OMAD, one meal a day. So 
he um he practices sperm retention so i know he is on that his d all in your stomach but he also portrays very spiritually inclined i'll say you know, because I guess you could be both, though. You know, you could be putting that DL in the stomach and not. No. no. <laughs> that, man, that man speaks from confusion sometimes. I'd be confused, so. <laughs> no. I'd be confused with a lot of, with a lot of people. <laughs> Listen. Um, and then that's you why a- women have energy after sex and men are tired. Do you, do you have, do you feel like women have energy after sex? Shit, no, because after I done did what I did, shit, I be trying to go to sleep like a man. Like, fuck that. <laughs> I, I think like, like, okay. Him. I curl up in fetal position like, yeah. I think if he laid down, you gonna lay down too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I know I be flipping myself over. I say, I don't even go to the bathroom, nothing. Sometimes. If I'm tired, tired, I just go and curl up in fetal position, naked and all. Like, yeah. That's when you, L, you just go. Yep. And maybe in the middle of the night, I'll wake up, go to the bathroom, clean myself up, and go get some water. <laughs> but in that moment, sometimes I'd be like, I am not about to get up. I'm just going to lay here, naked and all, just. <laughs> and then just. <laughs> It's what it is, and that's the real because everything's luck. <laughs> that's gonna be another topic, L. We're gonna give out the stuff if he's putting it down. Cause some girls be tricking dudes. <laughs> he think he's putting it down. He ain't putting it down. They be like, nah, dude. You know what's been put down when your leg be sh- twitching, and you be like, Dave, why won't my leg stop twitching? Like you be hitting it, it won't stop. You just gotta wait for you. For your right side to stop. When she start asking you, are you good? Do <laughs> you need anything else? Are you hungry? Because even though I'm tired, I'll make sure you, because I want you to come back. <laughs> I want to have this experience again. I don't want to mantra, Steve. <laughs> man, listen. You want to be, be a kept man. <laughs> Hold on. You want to be a Wait. man's kept man. Y'all could do a whole live on KG's oh Kevin Gates views. Yeah, we we definitely can, Josiah. I'd be ready. He does a lot of interesting stuff. Is he got a lot of different like views or yeah, insights? Like, actually, because I don't listen to his music, but I've watched a few of his interviews and stuff, and I've tuned in. Because you know, when I'm at work, I like to watch a lot of podcasts. I go on YouTube and stuff, listen to audiobooks, podcasts, <laughs> meditation. And he, like I just started listening to him, seeing what he's saying and stuff. And I know some of the things he talked about kind of line with some of the other books I read, like the Queen of Fua books and her son, Supernova Sloan, and just things that I know. So I'd be listening to him um and just seeing where his head's at, what he's talking about, as I do with other people. But yeah, Josiah, right. We could do a whole live on his views for sure. You know, you don't feel no confusion in him doing the DR in your stomach and then coming with like, I think we need to be spiritual. You know, I, I, I don't know because, you know, I'm mindfully savage. You know, I be ashe and all zen, but then I'm going to be ratchet as fuck sometimes. So I don't know that I can judge him. I, I don't know. I know I'm mindfully savage. I know how I am. You know, I, I can be the zenest person. I can just be all about gratitude and attention. But if you get me there, I just know, you know, I just might not be that person. <laughs> you said mindfully savage. That's my ter- the term I coined. I'm mindfully savage. Please give us an explanation quickly. Mindfully savage, bitch. Ashe. Namaste. <laughs> That's my the quickest explanation. Ashe, bitch, what? Literally from one extreme to the other. Get it? Wow. And and, 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 and he, bitch, what? I get the, Ashe, I get the, bitch, what? 
I got the mindfully part because you you clearly know like this is what the fuck it is. Like mm -hmm. I I know and I'm about to do part is, You ain't gonna play with me. No, but you said mindfully, which means oh I'm not like blacking out. I know what this is. Yeah. I know that you just talk to you like that. Yeah. I know that I I can go zero to a hundred real quick. real quick like Drake. So I'm mindfully savage. Yep. Yeah, but I'm a be. Uh -huh. <laughs> But if you take me there, we go in there. Ew. That's what it is. And y'all can see on my lives. I'd be like. <laughs> From the last snippet. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. If y'all ain't seen the snippets, go on our, our um, Instagram. Go on our TikTok page. And you know, tell them. So the TikTok for you guys, we're on we're on TikTok, which is watch sipping live. We're on YouTube. If you want to watch this live again or you want to catch one you missed, watch sipping live on YouTube. And then we're here, of course, watch sipping live. Mm -hmm. So um any of and I won't say re recaps, they're more so snippets and highlights. And we're in the process of creating a real uh like a highlight button. Where you can see pieces from different conversations you may have missed and they'll let you know what conversation was a conversation one two three we're on conversation five today so you can check us out there um and we are always down for putting new topics in our bowls so if you uh shoot us an email at watch live at gmail.com and i know it'll pin that as well you guys can send it there and we'll make sure your topic hits the bowl or, you know, it's, if it's something short, we will discuss it. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the goal is to, you know, equip you with some new information through these transparent, open conversations that are sometimes spicy. Yeah. Uh, and I just hope that you guys keep coming. And also tell your friends and tell your friends to tell their friends. To tell their because, friends. Um, yeah. Um, you know, just... Um, I forecast that this this will be remember when. Remember when we had like six or seven people in the live? Remember when? And now it'll be like, can we answer? You know, we're going to try to answer what questions we can. What's the moderator? We got tech support now, you know, content management. We are really um, going to stay the course and continue to show up, be consistent, and give you a peek at the corridors of our mind on these crazy spicy topics sometimes and yet informative um topics and they say they're mild but um the overall goal is to impart impact uh empower or inspire you in some capacity you know if it works for you you use it if not leave it right where you found it but i've enjoyed tonight's live thoroughly Me too. Um, Me too. my glass is still still got stuff in it and i am really like i, I drink this piece el did you finish your bottle heck no because i couldn't it was too strong okay so anybody in the live finished their whole bottle or finished what they started with but you was fucking with the bear bitch tonight and look that i'm not finished. you ain't about my life vera i'm the bitter bitch. And i'm laughing because uh it's been told to me, your eyes get really, really low. And I'm like, I'm trying to hold them open, like. Right? <laughs> so I'm the bitter bitch. You got to come with your sweetie TV. You got to come with your name. I got some sweet stuff next week. They gave you me, I mean. Come for yourself, though, Bear, since I'm the bitter bitch. You got to come with your name. I um, said I couldn't finish. Milan, weren't you drinking the espresso uh, martini? Jay Lou, Jay Lou you finished chance ten minutes ago. Jay Lou, you a pro though. You are you are a drinker. And he was trying to switch with you. Nah, you gotta get that bitter bitch. Oh, so he, get that. he he drink the brown and stuff. He's he's he he come with it. And twenty one. He says sweet batch. What was stage twenty one drinking? Nothing. You didn't drink anything tonight. I don't remember because well we got cut off two times in motherfucking life. Yeah, well, we need to figure out what was that a technical oh, issue you're in? I'll be hit up Instagram, be like, what the fuck? But L, was that on your end or what? 
it just I wasn't even doing that. I'm here talking to y'all and it just cut off. Well, I thought, you know what I thought? I thought you were pushing something. No, and that's that just went out. its own. Oh. My my in button eight is way up here to the right. So yeah, anytime I thought I'm you leave did. comments is down here. My in and I thought you were going like this. And I was like, why is she cutting the line off? It's up here. I never need to touch up here. Everything I need is literally down here. There's no I think why our live should have been cut off twice. I think that whoever's over the live is a mantras and he feeling some kind of way because he exposed. Yeah, they didn't like it. Oh, is that Harlow? I think Harlow just woke up. I hear her. Well, we're going to wrap. Thank you guys for joining us. And you guys know where to shoot us any questions, comments, concerns, suggested topics to watch live at gmail.com. We will be here next week, same bat time, same yeah. live until we tell you otherwise. And I look forward to the next time we connect. Um, and that's about all for me. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. In the words of Harlow, cheers. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you next Sunday. <laughs> Bye.